And we're live! Welcome once again to HeroQuest fans! So this may be the last stream we're doing for just a little bit uh, with the holidays coming up. The next three weekends look like they're pretty full for me right now. But I'm glad to be here playing HeroQuest tonight. Um, we've got Anixius with us. Welcome. Welcome back, thank you, thank I should you. say. Yeah, we won't get into everything, but it sounds like he went through some stuff, so I'm glad you're uh, glad you're back, <laughs> and uh, hope everything's uh, good. Oh yeah, thanks. Definitely missed playing last weekend. Yep. Well, and last night uh, we had a really good uh, game of Space Crusade. Really, the first one. I mean, I'm not counting all those times I tried to play against myself, and I was like, still learning the rules and like getting stuff wrong and. <laughs> I mean, it was fun, but um, having someone who'd actually played the game before um, was pretty cool. So, yeah, it was three of us. So we had two uh, two Space Marine factions, and I was the evil Chaos uh, Aliens. Never got to play that, or I've never seen it played either. Yeah, well, it was one of those games that I, I had only heard about it like in the 2000s, because I saw one of the flyers that advertised it. And it was only released in Europe, and then it was like, okay, this this thing is obviously so obscure, I'm never going to be able to afford it. And sure enough, it was like super expensive. But then there was a guy in Board Game Geek who was partying with his and didn't mind selling it. You know what I thought was like at a loss, really. I was like, are you sure? And he's like, yep. I was like, wow, I'm never going to get a chance like this again. So I went for it. And then later he was selling his uh, HeroQuest stuff, his European HeroQuest stuff, and it was, again, gave me a great deal. I was like, wow. So let that be a lesson to you. The, the gotta have it attitude isn't always the best thing when it's like a collector game item. Yeah. Of course it would be a lot nicer if it was just available, but that's how it is with some vintage games. But yeah. All right, so tonight, uh, let me just remove the fog here. Starting a new quest, so this is brand new. Uh, this, I've never played this one before. This is the Halls of Kelvinos, um, quest seven of the Frozen Horror. And uh, we've got characters, of course. Now, I, I was telling you, Anixius, earlier that um, I'm not gonna force you to use the same character you used before but if you want to you know you're here so you get dibs and as people file in we can always add them add them in later so you're gonna be the barbarian yeah yeah I'll go ahead and take the barb cool okay well I'll just get you up to speed on uh, all the stuff the barbarian has for your character sheet or your makeshift uh, piece of paper whatever you got going there <laughs> Okay, so he is a champion, so do you have your own dice, or am I rolling for you tonight? Nah, I'll let you go ahead and roll. Okay, yeah, because he's using black dice uh, because of a champion status with uh, swords. So he's got his great sword, Molly the Murderous, which is four attack dice, including diagonals. Um, I have here that he has a set of chainmail that he's carrying. He's not wearing it, so it's stowed right now. So that could be sold, or it could be given to another hero, or he could just keep, keep carrying it at no penalty. He's also wearing a helmet. And he's also wearing the cold iron plate. Cold iron plate prevents, uh, as long as he's wearing it, prevents the stuff from getting stolen by ice gremlins. But it still has the uh, one die movement penalty. So his total attack is four, his total defend is five. And of course, as always, he has eight body points, two mind points. He's wearing the armband of ice artifact, which protects him from most ice-based damage. He's got three potions of speed. Those are the type that gives you um, double your movement. So if you were rolling two dice, well, I guess in this case it would be, you would just get two dice instead of one. Uh, and he has a potion of strength. That's the plus two attack for one attack. 
He's got two uh, potions of magic resistance. That's the kind that negates damage from a single spell attack. And he's got a toolkit. 50% chance of disarming a search for trap. All right, and then he's got 661 gold coins. So, did you say two potions of resilience? Uh, magic resistance. Two of those. Three potions of speed and one strength potion. And then the overall gold again, how much was that? 661. All right. Now, as a champion, I'm going to allow him three combat cards, which I will draw for you now at random. I shuffled these. Let's see here. Keep turning that light on and off. Okay, so first one is going to be Berserker Fury. And that does not count as an action to be used. Let's see. Um, from now till the end of the turn, you may trade any number of defense dice to roll an any equal number of attack dice. These dice may be distributed amongst any creatures adjacent to you as you see fit. So the way I'm interpreting that is you can add your defense. So I guess he could have nine dice one time. Okay. So we'll do that. And then the next one will be hidden reserves. So this allows you to uh, heal two body points of damage. Okay. Okay. And then the third one would be footwork. So this allows you to roll two extra defend dice until the end of the turn. Oh, there we go. I was hitting the wrong button for autofocus. So you could actually use Berserker's Fury, then put footwork on top of that for two more defense dice. Yeah. <laughs> See where I'm going with that one? <laughs> yep. I don't care if you guys are OP. Um, this is all stuff that I planned out years ago. I knew how unfair this uh, quest book campaign was and I thought you know what I'm just gonna allow him to have all this stuff and we'll see how it goes I'm hearing some cool music or is this an ad oh I know what it is uh, my uh, my YouTube stream is beginning Okay, so now we see who the true fans are. <laughs> the, all the people who prefer Space Crusade, which uh, I don't blame you, those people can go watch on YouTube right now. It's premiering. And those who want to play Hero Quest and then watch this later on a VOD can do that. Yeah, I just I haven't done one of those in so long. I didn't recognize the music. I use this like sci-fi music as the intro. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, because like when someone subscribes or follows, like usually I hear like uh, Randy Savage or uh, Ric Flair, you know, screaming. <laughs> so that I at least know what that's happening. But it's like, you know, you set something up and forget about it. All right. Okay. So Barbarian's all set. Now, the other thing is, since uh, we are between quests, um, before you start, you do have the opportunity to hire mercenaries, uh, which is recommended. Yep. Uh, if he doesn't art, oh, that's right. This is the start of it. So yep. yeah, we'll Very go ahead good. and do that. Let me just write down Berserker, Fury, Hidden Reserves, and Footwork. All right, and I'll remind you uh, the four types of mercenaries. And I've got the gray ones and the red ones. I mean, just for just for fun. But um, we got the scout who can search for and disarm traps in the same fashion as a dwarf. So pretty good thing. 
Uh, we've got the swordsman who has the high level of attack and defense, but moves slowly compared to the others. And then we've got the halberdier, uh, which uh, can make diagonal attacks. And then of course we've got the crossbowman who can attack at range. All the all of them have two body points each. And the price is, let's see. The crossbowman and the halberdier are 75 each. The scout and the swordsman. The scout is 50 and the swordsman is 100. And you can hire as many of them as you want. Okay, did you say the crossbowman and the halberdier are 75? Yes. Now there is something here that there is a potion of charm. Now the alchemist had it, but since he's not in the quest yet, if you want, you could actually use the potion of charm, which allows you to hire up to. Let's see, I believe it's up to three mercenaries at uh, twenty-five gold coins less each. That's if you use it. Let's see. And how much was the scout, the dwarf, and the rogue? I didn't catch those. Um, let's see. The scout can disarm traps like a like a uh, dwarf can. So right, I mean the cost. Oh, the cost. Yeah, scout is fifty. Swordsman is a hundred. The other two are seventy-five. Okay. So I think what we'll need to do is take um, if you need to borrow gold from the reserve from anybody else's <laughs> <laughs> there's actually uh, a total I mean you guys kind of cleaned up it was a long quest let me just see how much you had in total the party had uh, 1461 in gold so that is enough oh, to nice. hire all the mercenaries right <laughs> You can hire. I mean, they packed twelve into the box, so. Um, let's do the swordsman. Um. Oh, the halberdier. And then a crossbowman for a ranged. Okay. Do you care if they're gray or red? I don't care. As long as we can keep track of where they are on the board. Yep. Okay, I'll give you gray then. That's cool. Okay, so you're hiring those three and you're using the potion of charm for the discount. Um, sure. Yeah. All right. And then so, just let me know how much I'm taking off here. So you charmed them. Okay. So that means. So crossbowman would be 50. Let's just get your bill here. 50. And then 50. And then 75. So it looks like 125 total. Or what am I saying? 175. Okay, so that leaves the barb with 486. All right. Now, looking at the rest of the party, I mean, I'm not asking you to buy stuff for other people, but um, the wizard is basically as strong as he's going to get at this point, except, well, I guess he doesn't have, does he have bracers? He doesn't have bracers. Interesting. Um, there's that. But let's see, the knight, Jacer usually plays the knight. He's not here yet. Um, he, uh, let's see, long sword, crossbow, fortune's long sword, shield, helmet, plate armor, spike shield. He's pretty much set as far as that goes. Okay. And if we get a dwarf or an elf, we'll have to kind of look and see what what they would have. Let 
Yeah, I think the dwarf was like 4-4 four, four as far as his attack and damage and uh, defense. Elf was... Yeah, we literally just swapped the, the gear with the elf. So if we add a, a brand new character, there might be a couple of things that are needed. But yeah, for now, I think you're probably off to a good start. Okay. But <clears throat> at the same time, are there any potions you'd want to buy? Um, I think we might want a couple of potions. Um, let's see. I got three potions of speed, one of strength magic. I don't have any healing potions, right? Just that uh, card um, hidden reserve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, the the one that they offer for sale is kind of expensive. It's a potion of greater restoration at 800 gold, and it gives you all your body and mind points back. Oh, it is expensive. That's like 100 old body point for me <laughs> yeah <laughs> how much is your life worth to you <laughs> right right well and then the other one is the i guess the other potion of restoration some people call it the lesser restoration that gives you just one body point and one mind point for 500 good gravy yeah well he better not get hit then <laughs> <laughs> now as far as the barbarian specific well, let's see. Let's go through the list. So you got the potion of rejuvenation. Let's see. Which was that? Oh, that's... Oh, oh, I get it. Okay, so the potion of rejuvenation is the third version of healing, where that's a 1d6 healing potion, straight up. But it's for 500. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and grab one of those then. Okay. Except you can't afford it unless you grab some gold from somebody else. But if you're okay, yeah, with that, I'll have to pickpocket one of the other characters. I owe you. I owe you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. So just put potion of rejuvenation, or if you just want to say heal in one d six, I mean that makes sense too. Sure, I'll add that here. Okay. Uh, you got the Potion of Frost Skin. That will allow you to roll two extra combat dice when defending. But it's based on line of sight with monsters. So if you can't see any monsters, it goes away. So it's like the defensive version of Courage, I guess. That's 300. And then there's I Potion of Icy Strength. It's 200. This is... Your next attack, you roll twice as many body points worth of damage on the combat dice. So it's a double damage, but it's just for one attack for 200. Mm, yeah, what's it called again? Uh, icy Strength. Potion of Icy Strength. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and grab that. Um, you okay. said it was two or 300? 200. All right, I'll take it from my guy. That leaves me 286. All right, and then uh, we've also got the Potion of Battle Rage. That's 400 gold. Uh, only for the Barbarian. It gives you two attacks per turn as long as there are monsters in sight. So it's like Courage, but it's two attacks. Yeah. Um, uh, let's hold off. That way, if anybody does join, um, if we want to... You know, allow them to pick something from the shop or whatnot. They can do that, I guess. Up right. to you, obviously. Yeah. Well, of course, as usual, the the Twitch chat can buy potions for the heroes with their channel yeah. points or gold coins. Intent for those three people, two people that are in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Me love you long time. Oh, are there actually people now? Well, it shows it was at five. Now it's back down to three. Now it's Aww. four. Now back. Fubar Junior is here. Wow, I haven't seen him in a while. And uh, Serazinia, Serazinia. I hope I'm saying that right. I I butcher people's names. 
Um, so we're just getting ready to get started. Welcome to HeroQuest fans. We're getting ready to get started on the Frozen Horror Quest 7, the Halls of Kelvinos. Just reminding everybody in the chat, um, you can help Onyxius. Um, he's the Barbarian. You can help any of the heroes who are playing by using your channel points to buy potions for them. You can also buy stuff for Zargon if you think there needs to be more monsters or more chaos in the game. Um, let's see. The other potions I was going to give you a, an opportunity to look at real quick here. So you know what's available at the alchemist shop there's the potion of dexterity that's 100 gold this is the one that gives you either five extra squares of movement for one turn or one guaranteed successful pit jump and if you buy a bunch of those you can only use one per turn and you said it was 100 yeah so i'll take one I uh, dropped myself to 186. Dexterity. And there's Venom, um, Venom Antidote, which is 300. That heals up to two body points of damage caused by poison needles or poison darts only. So not poison gas. Uh, Sarazenia asked if only one character is going to play. Well, for now, uh, we've just got the Barbarian and his three uh, mercenaries. So if you want to jump in, we've got slots for other heroes. We've got um, Knight, Dwarf, Elf, Alchemist, Wizard. If you want to take a, one of the newer newer heroes, uh, we could throw a Rogue in there. We could throw uh, uh, whatever. We've got the Mythic heroes, anything. <laughs> so now I do encourage you, if you are going to play as a hero, to jump into the Discord uh, chat, Quest Talk, on our Discord channel. Let me just get that link in the... A lot of yeah, people like to lurk, but I mean, at the same time, if you want to play with us live, you're most welcome. If you've never played Hero Quest before, we can teach you. Yeah, I'm still learning. I guess we're just kind of taking a more relaxed approach today. Uh, okay, the last uh, last one here, the Potion of Battle, is 200 gold coins. The Potion of Battle, all it is is just you can re-roll your attack dice once. That's it. Mm, I think I'll wait. Okay. All right, so all done buying. Yeah, um, did you see her, uh, Sir, uh, Sir Zinia's question on oh, okay. uh, how to join? Yeah, let's see, wait. How could one join? I played once like 13 years ago or so with my stepbrothers and only remember the game because watched three episodes in German that brought back the memory. Lurk for now since you have some extra rules, it seems. Well, here's the thing. I, I'm i taking the role of Zargon, so I will explain whatever needs to be explained. Yeah, you're welcome to just watch if you prefer. But what we're doing is, let me just put this away here. We're just pointing our camera at the at the actual game. Like you don't need anything except pencil and paper. Like you just take a character, tell us where to move them on the board. I'll remind you what your actions are if you want. And that's how we play. So it's pretty pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah, the Discord link, uh, let me just, it's at the bottom of the screen, but I also just threw it into the chat there. So hop into Quest Talk. So if you have a microphone, it's a lot easier. I mean, I've I've conducted whole quests with people just typing in the chat, but it's, it's a little quicker, it's a little easier uh, doing it by voice. Yeah, that way you also don't have that delay of chatting yeah. in, you know, the yeah. text. There is a delay. Yep. Yeah, five second delay. Used to be ten seconds. If I could get it down to two seconds, that would be great. But 
I have to have to yell at my uh, internet service provider a little bit more. I think I have to get that done. So Sarazenia, you're just gonna lurk for now. The extra rules aren't that big a deal. Um, mostly, it's just we have what's called the uncommon feat. So while we're playing Hero Quest, if you think of something, I mean, the classic example is, you know, you think of a plausible uh, thing that you might be able to do in an adventure, but not necessarily in Hero Quest. Like it's not in the Hero Quest rules. Like jump up on a table to get an advantage, you know, uh, slam a monster into the wall, something like that. Um, and we'll, what we'll do is we'll just roll a die so there's a 50% chance of success. And if it succeeds, you can do it. If not, then maybe there's a bad consequence or maybe nothing happens. So that's that. And then the other thing we do is we'll allow you to just... If you think a square might have a trap on it, you can just jump over it like you would any other trap uh, without necessarily having searched first. And what that does is that'll allow you to bypass, sometimes, in theory, the old trick where they put a trap on the other side of a doorway that normally you have no chance to, to avoid. Um, so there's that. And that's based on uh, something from the draft notes. Like early versions of the game, they were talking about doing that and they just never actually implemented it in, in these very quests. There's another one which is uh, you can jump over two squares at once, but it's really hard to do. you got to roll a, a white shield to do that. That's from the elf quest pack. But I figure, you know, sometimes there'll be two squares in a row that are both traps. And it's like you could just, you know, leap over both of them. The other kinds of uh, house rules, I think those are basically it. Um, you, uh, I mean, there's evil wizard cards, but right now we're just doing it so that if people buy them, we get to use them. Otherwise, they're just really not in the game. And combat cards and upgrades, those are just what you get from just completing enough quests. So instead of the heroes just kind of maxing out after they buy all their gear and just staying the same, forever and ever, um, I give them little perks as time goes on. But I remind you of what you've got, so it's not that not that complicated. Well, anyway, watch and learn, <laughs> right? Yep. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah, and Fubar, um, I think are uh, you're lurking too, right? You're not actually playing. I mean, anybody's welcome to join if they want. Just leaving that open. If you want to control a hero, otherwise, if you just want to watch, if you want to participate in the chat, we do have that audience participation. So all you got to do is see where it says send message in Twitch chat. If you look below that, there's a little uh, treasure symbol, like a gold and purple. You click on that, you click on viewer rewards, um, and you can actually influence the quest by using your gold coins to like buy potions for hero, bonus monster for Zargon, etc, etc. You can make suggestions of what you think we should do. Join the Discord, but I'll watch for now. Thank you for explanations. Yeah, yeah exactly. We try to do this every week. Uh, we started playing uh, Space Crusade on Fridays. Before that, we were doing all kinds of different things, but there just haven't hasn't been any real news in the world of Hero Quest lately, so we've just been playing other games. And then on Saturdays, we play Hero Quest. Now, the rest of this month, I think I'm going to be busy. So probably this will be the last big game that we do until December. <laughs> Sorry about that. But usually, just like it says on the screen, that's what we do. Ah, yeah. Well, Fubar, a lot of people do that, and I totally understand that. You're working on something, you just want to hear something in the background, something game-related to kind of... Um, help you along as you're finishing your project and task. So no problem there. 3D Hero Quest board, that sounds cool. Well, I hope to see uh, see the results when you're done. Okay, all right. Well, um, I think without with all that aside, I think we're ready to play. You ready for this, Oni? Yeah, I think so. All right, this is not an easy one. All right, let me read uh, the little storyline to you here. story so far quest 7 the halls of kelvinos no mighty heroes that kelvinos was a barbarian of great power and fame 
Centuries ago, he drove the frozen horror from Ice Mountain, ending the reign of terror. Sadly, Kelvinos did not return from that final battle. His body was never found. Some say that he walks again, but as an undead servant of chaos, you shall start at the iron door and explore until you find the wooden exit door that leads you closer to the frozen horror. Alright, so we're doing the door-to-door -door thing again. It's pretty standard for this pack. Alright, let's get that out of there. Oh, I think the orientation of our screen is goofed up. Let me just correct that real quick here. Okay, that looks right. Okay, so there's the frozen door. So we're just kind of starting right there. So, Barbarian, it's up to you now. All right, so roll for your movement here. Here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. You've got that plate armor on, so it's just one. Okay, so you rolled a three. Well, he's not going to move very far. Let's go ahead and knock on the door. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> Okay, so you open the frozen door, and let's see what you see, first off. Sylvania says, whoops, are there online versions as like PDFs, or just the adventures and items, etc. If you request, maybe I could build it into Roll20. Yeah, a lot of people have talked about doing similar things. If you go to yeoldin.com, you can find a lot of stuff that way. Or uh, you can also go to Hasbro Customer Care and look up Hero Quest. That's for the official ones. So that's like the remake stuff. So a lot of the classic stuff has been out for decades online, but uh, the official stuff is uh, limited to the official page. All right, so you open the door and so far you see a few things. You're going to see a closed door here, and also here. And you're going to see a stone wall blocking the path here. Okay, so let's go two forward and go into that first right door. Okay, so you're opening the door. Yep, the brownish room. All right. Okay, so you open the door and immediately you see on the other end, a closed door. You also see a torture rack. And you see a pair of mummies. Okay. If you need reminders on any of these monster stats, you just let me know. I think those have one hit point, right? Nope, they got two. Oh, two, okay. All right, well then what I will do, let's see, we move two, which means I go into the doorway. Four movements, three attack. Um, I'll stay right there and uh, check for any traps. So now wait a minute. So you're standing in the doorway and you're searching for traps down that corridor, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, there are no traps. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and end his turn. Okay. All right. Now you've got all your mercenaries. You can move them in any order you wish. You've got your crossbowmen. Swordsman and Halberdier. I'll remind you of their stats. So, Crossbowman and Halberdier each have six movement, three attack, three defense, two body, and two mind. 
All right, let's take the and swordsman. Oh, sorry, swordsman is five oh. attack. Or sorry, wait a minute. What am I saying? Okay, swordsman is five movement, four attack, five defend, two body, two mind. Sorry, you were saying. Uh, that's all right. Uh, let's go ahead and roll. You said five movement. Yeah. So, um, no rolling required for the mercenaries. One, two, three. Put him on the other side of the barbarian, if you would. The halberdier. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Yep. There we go. And the bowman, um, is he at an angle if he stands next to me, the barbarian? Does he have a shot at the... Uh, it would be the mummy next to that yes. torture device. Now, the way I'm interpreting the crossbow in this campaign is um, it does it can't hit the diagonals unless there's one square in between. So if, the, if there was a monster okay. right in the doorway, he could not hit him unless he... Maybe backed up one square. If that makes sense. So you have to have one, at least one empty square between you and the enemy, right? That's right. So I know some people interpret it differently, but I figure that's what keeps the other diagonal attack weapons different from the crossbow. Okay. Now the crossbowman can attack an adjacent enemy with a broadsword. Just the the ranged attack requires that extra space in between. Right. Um, so if he can go ahead and shoot at the one mummy close to that de torture device. Okay. All right. So that's three attack dice. And yeah, that alarm was just to remind me that uh, seven o'clock. This is the time I told everybody. So we may have a few new people join. So if you see somebody in the chat, and I appreciate you reminding me if uh, someone's asking a question or just jumped in. So far, it's just the four of us. All right, so three skulls. Wow. I'll just to remind myself, I'm just going to get out that card again. Okay, so four defense. Um, no defense. Wow. So that's a kill. Nice. That's a mummy. Down. Alright. Swordsman. Uh, he will just stand outside the door next to um, the crossbowman. Okay. The archer. Yep. And we're going to say when you're outside a door like that, um, it's kind of like an invisible room. Like you can't hurt people, and they can't hurt you. You're just you're yeah. just out. You're just hanging out. Okay. Cool. Okay, my turn. Guess I can remove these for now because we don't really have anybody yet. And you actually have multiple mercenaries. All right. Well, since I just have the mummy, he moves forward to, and he's going to attack the barbarian with three. Uh, one skull, barbarian. Let's see. I just said you defend with five. Now, since you do have those extra abilities and things, if at any time you want to use a potion or a skill card, you just stop me. Yeah, I'm keeping. I'm looking at my potions just in case. Mm -hmm. so you have quite a quite a few. All right, so cha ching. Yeah, you deflected everything. Oh, the other house rule that we often use is um, if you happen to roll, a hero happens to roll three white shields or more, he gets a wrestling move. So it's just kind of like a free hit on a monster because rolling that many white shields is kind of a rarity. 
Now, by the same token, if a monster rolls three black shields or more, they get a wrestling move. <laughs> All right. Back to you, Barbarian. Roll your movement. All right. Uh, go ahead and... Nah, we'll five. go ahead and attack him since he's... Okay. Okay, five movement. We'll attack him since he's right in front of me. Okay. All right. So you're attacking with your four. Yeah. Um, yeah, two skulls. So let's stack those guys up. Okay. Four defense. No defense. Wow. We're off to a great start. Yep. That's another kill. Not all monsters are going to be this easy, of course, but... Uh, right. That's the frozen horror for you. Okay, so now you're mercenaries. Um. Oh, you still got your movement. I mean. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and move the barb in one, like in the doorway. Okay. Because when he searched for traps down the corridor, does that count, like right? in whatever he can see in the room as well from there? Nope. Because Remember I was saying uh, the blind trap jumping mechanic? Because well, yeah. you can't reach into a room that you're not inside. You you just search the corridor or room that you're in. So when you're stepping into a room, you don't know. I mean, you know that that square is safe just because I didn't uh, say that you fell into a trap. But it could have been. And so you would have right. had to just be like, okay, they're probably going to put something there. I'm going to try to jump over it. See. Mm -hmm. A lot of good guys All on right. the board, and those mummies didn't last long. Yeah, Fubar. I agree. Well, and uh, we were just talking a moment ago about how there's hardly any heroes. Ah, see, Fubar knows what's up. <laughs> Bonus monster. Go for it if you want. Make it more interesting. I have no objection to you using your gold gold coins to help the bad guys. Um, let's go ahead and search for traps in this room then. Okay, um, you'll have to do it on your next turn because because uh, I use the attack, right? Yep. Okay. So are you just gonna right. skip back to? Uh... <sighs> mm, no, I'll stay right there. Hey, I'll, Fubar, and... uh, you said cannot on the replay. Okay, great. Um, so, Jacer, as the knight, um, you, uh, let's see, I'll allow you to buy mercenaries if you want, of course. Um, you have your uh, longsword, Fortune's longsword, which allows you to, once per quest, reroll one of the attack dice. Uh, your crossbow, so three and three. You've got six defend dice. You've got the shield helmet, plate armor, which is no movement penalty for the knight. You've got the spike shield. So I guess you're using the spike shield instead of the shield. So that just means you can't be hugged by a yeti as long as you've got that. Uh, seven body, two mind. You have your three skills, the knight's challenge, stalwart, and shield block, which I trust you know how to use. You've got a potion of warmth, a healing d6. Holy Water, Potion of Magic Resistance, Rejuvenation, which is 1d6 healing, the Ring of Warmth, which protects you from some ice-based damage, a Warmth Scroll, which restores up to three lost body points, and the Toolkit. Oh, and you also have an artifact called the Ice Queen Spear, which is two attack dice, including diagonal, or Three black dice, including diagonal against polar war bears. And I should subtract the gold that was spent earlier. Let's see. Anixius, are you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, good. So the total gold for the group should be at 486. 
that's left. So we can divide that amongst the two of you. So each, each person carries 243, if that's all right. Okay, sounds good. Uh, 243 on top of my 186. Uh, no, I did it differently. I just subtracted the total stuff purchased from the uh, the total party amount. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the people who play, I mean, you could, you're could you spending hours and hours just not spending your gold, so you've got a lot... <laughs> Too bad you can't uh, cash it in for, like, sweet merch or something. All right. Okay, so, Jacer, um, I don't see you in the Discord. Okay, we're getting an ad here. Sorry for the glitches, everybody. Oh yeah, um, so uh, Anixius has um, a swordsman, a crossbowman, and a halberdier. So three. So uh, you can buy mercenaries if you want. With your, uh, the 486 can be divided and spent on that if you want. Now, people in the chat can buy mercenaries for us, of course. Oh yeah, and the Potion of Charm has been used up because we use that to get a discount. big round of ads there okay we're back on hero quest fans sorry about the issues tonight all right jay sir um since i'm not hearing you i assume you want me to just roll for you here you'll just have to let me know in the chat what's going on so you just got a five and you're at the uh the doorway here this is the halls of Kelvinos. We're just starting the icy door. Oh, okay. So first you want to buy a scout and a crossbowman. Excellent. So I will give you the red ones. So you have a scout and a crossbowman. Okay, so that should be... 125. Welcome, welcome. So you got 361. Hey, Jaser. All right, welcome. Okay. So you've got those uh, two mercenaries there. So one of you will be carrying 180 gold, and the other will be carrying 181 gold. Which of you wants the 181, the extra one gold? <laughs> so it's not 243? Yeah, correct. We okay, just I'll go ahead. And... I'll take the 180. Okay. All right, Jacer gets the extra, extra gold coin. Yeah, the thing about mercenaries is uh, there is a cost to rehire them, so it's like uh, a good way to take away uh, gold from heroes. Now, at the same time, people in the chat can do what they do to supplement. 
All right, Jay, okay. sir. So, um, are you ready to move, or did you want to buy some other stuff? I mean, there is a little bit of gold left. Uh, you do have no, I don't think healing. I need anything else at the moment. Okay. All uh, right. what are what are the two? You said uh, does the barbarian have? I oh, used I got enough weapons too. All right. Yeah. I was just trying to figure out if there was anything else because I got two shields and. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, he's got a he's got a, a set of chainmail that he's not using. You've got a shield that you're not using. Do you guys actually want to be carrying that gear, by the way, or you want to just say like it's in storage or something? Because we don't have to give it to you, like you're carrying it on the quest. I, I'm thinking. I mean, it doesn't really do anything. It, it's just. I mean, I'm fine carrying all the extra stuff. It's just more stuff for an ice gremlin to steal and for me to get back. So it helps me, I guess, if you, if the ice gremlin steals random stuff because at least it's not a healing potion. Oh, I just thought of something. But, uh, I just thought of something, guys. So. This was this was Avalon Hills doing. The cold iron plate prevents theft. So you could just give all your gear to the one guy that has it. <laughs> you can't have stuff stolen. Of course, now if he gets killed, I guess there's it could be lost that way. I just have to stand next to him so I can use shield block so he doesn't die. And then if they attack me, I use stalwart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we, we just have to always move next to each other. <laughs> well, see, where's the mechanic who bark? Hire the invisible donkey. Yeah. Oswald the Overladen. He'll carry your stuff for cheap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Probably talks back, too. Yeah, he might. He might uh, sound like Eddie Murphy. You never know. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Okay, so yeah, you've got extra gear. Well, Jay, sir, uh, I don't want to hold you up. So you're in the you're in the adventure. You've got um, let's see, let's let's roll for real since you don't have any uh, restrictions on movement. So six. Actually, you know what? We could. Uh, that was the other house rule we talked about: is the unchallenged movement. Just giving you your full movement since there's no monsters right now. So if you want, you can actually move 12. Okay. Uh. Try to zoom in. Sorry, can you see? <laughs> see that? Angle? All right. Um, let me go. Was this room search for traps? Uh, only the, this uh, corridor leading to the stone block has been searched for traps. All right. All right. I guess let me move into that room and search for traps. Okay. Which uh, square do you want to end up on? Uh, go next to the barbarian. Okay, to the uh, to the east. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we haven't searched for traps in here either. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. That's here. what I'm about to do. Just and having a little a scout, a little fun with you. Okay. Um, <laughs> no traps. Like saying, are you sure you want to do it? Are you sure you want to do well, it? Well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then it goes to a commercial and you're like waiting for it. Yeah, to be over. Like, oh man, sweating bullets. It's like, nah, everything's fine. Except for that thing. Uh, I, I guess move the two mercenaries okay. right, I guess right next to the uh, torture rack. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. That way they can get out, go or follow me out the door the next turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Oh, I forgot to blah, blah, blah. Okay, back to the Barbarian. Okay, let's go straight forward and... Three. Open the door. One, two, three, just perfect. 
And I did. I don't know if I missed it. You searched for traps, but we didn't search for treasure in here, right? Correct. No, or secret doors. But I, I don't. Well, there could be one, I guess. But it would just go to the next room. Mm -hmm. Let's search for treasure. Okay, searching in the room that you're in. All right. Yes, I did shuffle the treasure deck. Hey, uh, so guys, um, my practice up until now has just been to shuffle the treasure deck once per quest. But the rules actually indicate you're supposed to shuffle every time you search. Do you guys want to start doing that now? It'll definitely keep things interesting. <laughs> sure. So the bad cards, in other words, could come I just up again figured you had the, the, the button there to shuffle the deck so that anybody could... Oh yeah. yeah, the 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 wandering monster button that makes it's like a it's like a video of a fake draw that just always comes up. The one I want. No, I'm not that evil yet. Yet. Okay. So um. So what do you think? Should should we shuffle every time, or just? I was gonna I was gonna say anytime somebody buys the thing to shuffle it. I think it's only one. Ah, gold. I see what you're saying with the button. Yeah, because they can buy reshuffle the deck. Okay. That's that's fair. I, I like the I like the way you think. Okay, so we're it's shuffled before the quest began, and that was it. All right, potion of healing. So this is uh, four lost body points. Lost body points. Okay, so barbarian, you've got a plus four healing. All right. We've got an entire uh, laboratory of potions at this point all right okay uh and what will your mercenaries do um we are farmers something like da, 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 da. let's bring them in so that door that he opened that room's empty oh whoops <laughs> where's my mind at um there is a door at the other end of it. Okay. Gonna adjust the camera too. It's a little, a little hard to see. I, I re realize. So barbarian, you've moved your maximum movement, but uh, your mercenaries can still do stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring them in. I'm gonna have them follow me into that next room. What was their movement again? Uh, let me look. Um, let's see. Uh, scout. I, I don't have it. Yeah, scout has. Uh, or you don't have a scout. Sorry. Um, crossbow and halberd are each six each. And the swordsman is only five. All right, so the go ahead and bring the halberdier one, two, three, four, five, six. That puts him right in the door on the other side of the room. Right here. In that first square? Uh, yeah, the first square into that bluish room. Yeah. And then... Hold on. Uh, <laughs> he's, actually, he's actually landed on a trap. <laughs> it was at this moment he knew. He... <clears throat> Yeah, okay, so this is a swinging axe trap. A huge axe swings out from a hidden alcove in the ceiling. You roll two combat dice and lose one body point for each skull rolled. No defense. And until it is disarmed, a swinging axe trap affects every hero who steps onto the square. And I'm treating mercenaries as heroes, of course. Mm -hmm. So, alright. <laughs> got him! Got got him. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Good way to kill uh, two black shields. Wow. Okay, so uh, it it didn't didn't uh, didn't kill her. 
but it is still dangerous. <laughs> Fubar indeed. Okay, well, how does this affect uh, how you're planning to do it? Well, it doesn't say that the turn ends, so the character well, could continue to move. No, because that, that was six. That's the max, right? Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. So he's stuck there, but we're treating them as heroes. What does he... He can do traps as well? Uh, no, only the scout can uh, search for and disarm traps. So you don't have any scouts. Only Jacer does. Can That's the one with the sword I... and shield. Um, oh, I wouldn't give him the toolkit. I'll just have to wait until next round to try to disarm it. All right, well, that's it for him. I can't move, or I don't think I can do anything with him, right? That's... Mm, no, not really. I mean, uh, you could uh, you could give uh, you could give a potion to the mercenary. <clears throat> um, well, he hasn't taken any hits yet, right? Not yet. <laughs> the night's still young. All right. Let's uh, move the other one up behind me. Okay. The, me being the barbarian. All right. One, two, three, four. So that was this crossbowman, right? Yes. And then the swordsman can also walk in. Two, three, four. Everybody's in the room. Now the walls come down. <laughs> we were uh, talking about how in Space Crusade there's a card that can be drawn that basically sets off a mine that blows up. <laughs> and so if you have all your squad clustered together, they can all be taken out in a single, single shot. Jeez. But that's because your regular Marines only have one, one life point. All right, that's it for me, right? I can use the restroom real quick? Yeah, sure. All right, I'll be right back. All right, Jacer. Now, Jacer, do right. you have your dice tonight, or am I rolling for you? You can roll. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'd be easier for you to roll. Oh, why am I doing this? There's no monsters. So you've got uh, you've got 12. I also did All the right. same thing. Uh, I <laughs> I forgot. What I should say is, when there's no monsters on the board, you have the option to move your full movement. So I should have allowed the Barbarian to move six. So, I'm sorry. Oh, then he would have been stuck in that swing. At, well, right, he would have been able to move past it. Possibly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, I'll try to remember from here on. Alright, let me backtrack into that hallway, into that other closed door. And open that up. Okay. Okay. So you're opening that door there. The little blue room. All right, let's see what you see. You see a closed door to the uh, southeast, and you also see a trio of monsters. First off, there's a goblin in the doorway there, an orc here, and an abomination or femur if you're playing the classic edition right here. All right, Jacer. Uh, attack the goblin diagonal. All right, with your three there. Yep, I'm not gonna jump on a trap and then have them ambush me. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good way to do it. I'll use our guns out there. Okay, two skulls. Well, 
He, since he only defends with one, that's a kill. And can the crossbowmen get next to me and shoot? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, he can. All right. I'm back. Maybe, maybe he can kill the abomination. All right. Hey, uh, Oni, I forgot that when there's no monsters on the board, I'm giving you guys the option to do your full movement. So technically, you should have been able to move six, but sorry about that. All right. <laughs> I'll try to remember All from here on. And, but if you guys don't remind me, I may forget again. So I'm just saying. Okay, so uh, he's shooting the crossbow at the um, abomination. Okay, so that's three attack dice. Now, I was also thinking... I never actually gave the knight an upgrade. So here's what I'm going to do. When he uses his... Uh... I guess that isn't really much of a much of anything. I'm going to say when he uses the shield block or when he defends, one of his dice is going to be... I have a suggestion for you. What's that? That... The upgrade, it would be a black dice or switching out into the right the black dice for whenever he attacks whatever the wandering monster for that quest is. Oh, just and under any circumstances? So if the wandering monster is a mummy, kind of like he... studying the enemies or the ah, traditional I enemies like, that he's going to be fighting like in that. those dungeons. I like that. Normally, I don't make up rules on the fly, but I like that a lot. I don't know how helpful it would be. That's a good idea. Okay, so we'll we'll try it out and see how it goes. So, wandering monster bonus attack. So black die. It could come in handy. I was also going to say, because it, it really isn't much of anything, um, you just get one green die in defense as long as you have a shield. I mean, a spike shield is still a shield. shield. What, is the, what is the wandering monster for this? Well, you're going to have to find out. <laughs> you haven't encountered it yet. That's all I'll say for now. But I like your I like your idea. Okay, so all right. Sorry, do we roll yet? No, we're gonna roll now. Um, three black shields. Okay, so you missed. All right, Jay, sir, you got the scout left. Uh, move him right on the other side of the night. Okay, just enough. All right. It's Argon's turn. I know yep. there's a five-second delay, so feel free to yell out. <laughs> okay, all right. Um... I'm going to move the Fimmer, or the Abomination, forward. So he can take up the entire room, because he's, he's such a big miniature. And attack the Barbarian. In the night. Or the... Oh, you're right. Yeah, the night. <laughs> That's a hell of a reach. <laughs> yeah, he just smashed right through the wall. He chucked his spear. It is our God. I'm going to hit you so hard, the other guy's going to feel it now. No, He's he, gonna cut through the wall like the Kool Aid Man. I don't know why. Like, I mean, I got plenty of sleep. I think I had a I had a big breakfast, so that's my excuse. Of course, it's almost eight <laughs> o'clock. I did eat a late, late, very late breakfast. So, I guess I'm still digesting. All right, sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. So he completely, utterly failed, and that orc is really not going to be able to do anything. So, I think he's just going to go and block the door. All right, now it's time for the Barbarian. So now you will have to roll. Okay. And I'll roll for you. Two. All right. Um, let's go. There's a trap there. I need to disarm the trap. 
yeah, you can't really get on that square unless it's like an uncommon feat to switch places with the other character. Um, you have to be on the square. Yeah. So, uh, as as it is, that mercenary is going to have to step off of that square. Then someone with the ability to disarm traps is going to have to yeah. say that they're disarming them. And then we'll place so... you on that. Can you just have the mercenary move first? Yeah, you can do that. Okay, well then... I mean, um, they're supposed yeah, to move let's... after the hero, but I'll allow it. What if I just kick him in the back? <laughs> Well, like I said, you could do an uncommon feat. Say, like, haul him out and switch places. Yeah, or, or push go. him in. So I reach in, grab him, and pull him back real quick before he gets hit again. Okay. So we'll roll to see if that works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But you have to get a skull for it to succeed. Nada. So it didn't work. You're like, okay. give me your hand. And the character's like, no. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and move the mer... Um, if he moves, is he's going to roll to try to see if he gets hit from that trap again, right? Uh, it's like a pendulum, I guess? Well, stepping off the square is, is a safe action. It's just that... Um, what does it say? I think it's just when you step on it that it's triggered. It doesn't just like hit you every turn. But let me just double check the notes here. When a hero moves onto the square. Yeah, so actually it's it's safe as long as you're standing on it. But if you move off of it and move back onto it again, it would trigger again. Or if somebody else right. stepped onto the square. So I guess technically if somebody is like moving past this hero, they would be affected too. Right, unless they're they jumping, have to... unless they're jumping the square and they successfully jump it, then nothing happens. Hmm. You know what? Now that you mention that, well, actually, that's kind of a problem because let's say, I mean, you're imagining, okay, let's say the barbarians like, I'm gonna just step on the square. Wouldn't they hit the, both of them? The, 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 yeah, so, this... so yeah. but the game is, you know, only accounts for so many factors. So I would just treat it as just one. So I guess just think about what you want to do. Sticky situation. Well, if the mercenary can just move over, then I'll walk on it uh, and then try to disable the trap. Okay. I don't know what else I could do other than move the merc and then try to dive in and hope there's no other trap on the floor. Right. Well, and disarming doesn't actually use up any movement. You just will warp to the square that you're disarming. So... Let's say okay. you did do that. You can move the mercenary out of the way, and they just say, I'm disarming that square, and I would just put you there and roll to see if you did it. Okay. You want to try that? Yeah, let's try that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, sometimes I suggest things that are not good. Okay, so where's the where's the mercenary going to move? Uh, um, go forward. Okay, so, like, down? Like, south? Or... Yeah. To the right. The way the camera is, yeah, it would be south. For him, it would be if he walked through the door, you just continue walking straight, basically. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, he's landed on another uh, swinging axe trap. So I'll roll two <laughs> combat dice. Oh my goodness. Let's see if it's curtains. Okay, there's one skull. That's one hit. Okay. Tell the canary to keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> Set off all the traps. Okay, and then that ends that character's turn. Yep, and then I will try to disarm it for the with the barb. Actually, hold on, hold on. I could be I could be just assuming things. It doesn't say it ends the turn, so you could keep going. Yeah, <laughs> try to see if I can find some more trap for A them. spear trap ends your turn if you get hit, but this, this one doesn't. <laughs> All right, where would you uh, like to move, if anywhere? Um, let's go the barb into the door and disarm the trap, or disarm it as I go in, whatever option that is. 
Okay, so without using any movement, you, uh, let's just roll for your movement. Six. Okay, but you don't have to expend any movement. You're just disarming. Okay. All right. Yep. We'll roll, and if it's a skull, you trigger the trap and get hurt. If it's anything else, you disarm it. All right, it was a white shield. Congratulations, you've disarmed the what? swinging axe trap. So how does the 50% work? You just roll two dice? Uh, you roll one die. If it's a skull, you get hit. If it's a shield, you're fine. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, a lot of those 50% things happen, but they're like different values. Skull, trigger, anything else, disarm. Um, and since I'm in here, can I do a search for traps to oh. show all the, where all the other traps are? Nope, because your disarming was, was an action. So all you've got left now is movement. Okay. Unless somebody redeems a bonus trap search or something in the, in the all right chat. so then i'll uh, end my turn i don't want to take any more steps in here and just bring my other two behind me closer to the door okay so just like that all right so i just uh i did what you asked and we're getting another hey. ad there Oh, but I've had that for just a second. Diaper duty. Oh, that stinks. See what I did there? Do what you gotta do. Okay. Jacer. Is he moving his other two mercenaries? Well, all he did was just move them uh, closer to the door. Okay. That's how I interpreted what he was saying there. Alright, I'm going to attack the uh, Abomination. Okay. So, Knight attacks with three. One skull. Monster defends with three. Alright, so an Abomination is not the Wandering Monster. Correct. <laughs> the only hint I'll give you is you have not encountered a wandering monster yet. The type of the wandering monster yet. Oh yeah, that's what I figured by what I attack when I attack. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. So uh, the monster successfully deflected the attack. And just so you know, your movement is a seven. And she went her way home with one star. All right, I want to move back down the hallway three spaces. Okay. And your mercenaries? Um, send a scout just next to the, uh, I'm back, sorry. Crossroad men. Welcome. So in the doorway or on the opposite side? Um, next between the crossroad men and the torture rack. Okay, so there should be just a line of you, the three of you, right? So knight, scout, crossbowman, all in a row. Oh, he should be in the other room. Oh, I, uh, you literally do want him. Okay, sorry. One, two, I think... three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that? Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Oh no, farther farther down. Or maybe it's a halberder. I'm not sure what the other mercenary is. If you can get down oh, by the swordsman. Yeah. Okay. There. That's All right. I thought it was a crossbowman down there. There is a crossbowman down there. Did, does nine get him there? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. That's as far as he goes. Okay. And then I guess move the. Move the crossbowman behind the knight. Okay. Still in the hallway, though, right? And it brings it to your turn. All right. All right, Abomination steps forth. One, two, three. Attacks Knight. One Skull. And you defend with six. I'll let you use one green die because you've got your shield. And you're a champion. Because actually, yeah, you have survived quite a few quests. We've had a we've had a knight with us since the beginning, really. That's pretty cool. Back then, the the knight was kind of a novelty. Okay, so no defense at all. That's rough. Okay, so one uh, one body point has been lost. Down to six. Now the orc is going to move. Four, five, right behind. All right, barbarian. So let's. Well, let's roll your movement, of course, first. Yeah. One. Well, um, I can use my disarm kit multiple times, right? Uh, or just one time? Yeah, it's infinite use. Every time's an action, of course. All right. Can I disarm the trap in front of me since I'm in the room now? Yep. We'll just pretend that you're standing on top of the character there. Disarming the trap. All right. We'll roll your one combat die. If it's a skull, it triggers the trap. If not, you're fine. Okay, it's disarmed. All right. So you're temporarily occupying the same space. Now you do have one square of movement, so you could uh, move yourself to another square. Or you could <laughs> risk moving the other character somewhere. Yeah, I want to make sure there's no other, no other traps in here, though. Right. Well, you know, there's at least two safe squares right now. Well, let's go ahead and just pull in the next, um, the next one. I think it's the ranged, the arch. All right. Crossbowman moves in. And then the next guy behind him. Swordsman moves forward. Do you want him to enter the room? No, because there's no open spot, and I don't know what's next to the inside left part. Thank you, Fubar. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, sorry. There and oh, Nixius, uh What else no, were you gonna I, do? Just is, are you done? Yeah, that's gonna be it. Okay. All right, so that's how we left it. Boom, boom, Jacer. I'm gonna attack again. All right. 
The abomination will go down. Okay, so you rolled a 10. And then for your attack, we've got three. Two skulls. Defend with three. I agree with you, Fubar. I know how to play the game. Okay, so that was one deflection and one hit. So, the abomination is at half health now. Okay. The knight, two spaces, so he's on the inside of that door. Two. Okay. Have the crossbow men shoot the abomination. All right. One skull. Monster defends. No defense. It goes down. All right. Have him move. Behind the swordsman. Okay. One, two, three. Of course, in his place, after the uh, abomination fell, a skeleton rose up out of the ground. That's one bonus monster. <laughs> All right, have the scout move next to the other crossbowmen inside that other room. And then okay. search for traps if he doesn't land on one. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you're searching for traps? Yes. These two squares look extremely dangerous. And I believe I have those special tiles I can use because with the delay and everything, it's kind of annoying to have me just pointing at stuff. Basically, those two tiles in front of the doorway are extremely dangerous. They look extremely dangerous. Okay. Pass my turn to Zargon. All right. Zargon laughs at your puny efforts. All right. So um, it seems that somebody left the uh, left the icy door open, and uh, it uh, it creaks open, and in steps a polar war bear, and he slams the door behind him. All right, so there's your second bonus monster. Okay, now that I've got something going here, let's see. Um, polar war bear. It's gonna be kind of tough. All right, the polar war bear is gonna step forward and he's gonna attack the knight. Now, the way we're way I handle the the multiple attacks is that. If two attacks are in the, against the same target, the target rolls at the end, applying their defense to the whole thing. That's how I do it. It's different than Avalon Hill's suggested way. So we're gonna get a four dice attack. Okay, so that's one skull. Now we're gonna roll four more. One, two, three. Okay, so that's four total skulls, knight. Okay, and so you're going to roll your six defense. One of those is green. To beat four skulls. Um, none. You didn't roll anything. Wow. 
If that was an attack, that would have been great, because you rolled five skulls and a black shield. Okay, so you took just took four damage, so you're down to two. Things can change. So that was the polar war bear. And these other monsters... See, the orc is going to go... No, the orc's going to stay put. The skeleton's going to go one, two, three, four, out to this hallway here. All right, barbarian. You just rolled a six. Let's go ahead. Back on camera. You're on this square here. I know it looks so like you're we, in the corridor, but you're really right here. So we searched for traps, and there were two that were questionable, right? Yeah. Do we have a marker down on what squares those are? Yes. If you look, the question down, mark. Yeah, if you look very closely, these are custom tiles that I created. Okay, so um, I'm going to search for treasure then. Okay. Gold! You search and find small amounts of gold hidden in several places, but lose track of time. Roll one die and multiply the result by ten to see how many coins you find. Miss your next turn. All right. Okay, so three, so you get 30 gold and you miss a turn. Alright. Okay, and I can still move though because it's not until next turn, right? Correct, you've got six. Um, and if I move down next to the square, I have to be on the square technically to disarm a trap. and. To disarm it, it's an action, but I just used my action, correct? Yeah, you can move wherever you want, but the thing is, with don't think of it like you. I have to move onto a square, then try to disarm it. The the very act of disarming a trap warps you onto the square itself. See that? It's kind of weird, but that's okay. how it's handled in the North American rules, and I abide by them. So okay. it's, it's, it's kind of like he walks over and disarms it, so he's on it if right. it goes off. Right, exactly. The only time it really kind of messes with your mind is if they purposely, because this happened in a quest we played, they put a barrier of traps, like in the middle of the room, and you're like, oh, I could just, like, disarm the one that's on the edge to, like, cross over the barrier of traps without having to, I mean, I guess you're still risking yourself somewhat. But it's like you yeah. took, a, like, a flying leap and landed on one of the traps ready to disarm it. So, but anyway, that's anymore. that's how it is. They right. they created the quest knowing full well that those were the rules. So, Whatever. and I have to have an action available to be able to use a trap or to use the disarm. <laughs> the disarm. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and move um, left two and then down one. I think because it's right before the trap. I don't want to step on the trap yet. Okay. Is that that's what you wanted, right? Five yeah, delay. yeah, that's fine right there. Just the old, just like the old uh, Saturday Night Live, you know, and they knew that the guy was going to be swearing. It's like give him a five second delay. But we're all on our best behavior tonight, so we're not doing that. <laughs> okay. All right, and uh, your mercenaries, what will they do? Um, since both of those traps were disarmed, um, I will go ahead and just have both of them continue to walk down and over to basically be next to me. Okay. What about the swordsman? Um, have him go down all the way as far as he can go down. Like that? Uh, wait, just to update. 
Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. All right, Jacer. All right. Uh, I've got a. Do I have a, any potions of strength or any combat-related potions? You mean? Um, yes. Uh... Doesn't look like it. I mean, okay. you've got you've got holy water, but I guess that's the only really. Yeah, this is too far away. Mm -hmm. All right, so have him attack. Attack the polar war bear. All right. And what are you attacking him with? The uh, fortune's longsword. Okay. Not the. Uh... Oh wait, no, the spear. <laughs> See, I, I didn't want to like give it away, but okay. So you're using the spear, so that's three black dice. Okay, the ice queen spear. And of course, if, for those of you watching, yes, I did boost it up because I thought um, three three dice is, is pretty weak. Okay, so that's two skulls. And let's see, Polar War Bear defends with three. I mean, it's like, if you've already got a long sword, what's the point of it otherwise? Well, that's what I, mean, I was thinking with the reroll. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that, that could have worked. Okay, so he deflected one and took one damage. Okay, how much movement does he have? Uh, let me see. Movement is six. All right, move him into the the next room right inside the door. Oh, you're asking the hero. Sorry, <laughs> uh, you had nine movement. Monster has six. So you're wanting your knight to run into the next room? Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, this eight, way he could uh, either reposition his uh, maybe halberdier or something next to me so that he can attack this thing too. Sorry, where did you want the knight to end up? I just ran him all the way almost to the door. No, no, the open the open doorway next to the other uh, this next to my scout. Perfect. Okay, it is done. All right, now the crossbowman is going to shoot the polar war bear. All right. Two skulls. Monster defense. No defense. So that's two more hits. Okay, now he's going to move behind the knight. Okay. One, two, three. The scout's going to go and disarm the trap in front of the door. Okay. Okay, the one directly in front. All right, so we, uh, the scout disarms like a dwarf. So if he rolls anything but a black shield, it is successfully disarmed. It's a skull. Okay, so that was disarmed. And I'll let you know it was a swinging ax trap. Yeah, Merc killers. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, thanks, Fubar. Have a potion, Jacer, he says. Nice. I don't Thank know why you. I said it like the Joker there, but... All right. Excellent. He's uh, he's turned. He's turned face. He's on the good guy's side now. Draw a potion. Potion of healing. Mark Hamill would be great if he narrated the... Uh, Zargon. Zargon. How do you know he did it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did it on the dare. It's like, oh, man. Can't believe I lost this bet. Yep. All right, um, playing Jake Skywalker. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, small amount of 
Oh, four, four lost body points. I don't know why I was having trouble reading that. It's too bright. Okay, so uh, one... I'm going to drink it. Oh, okay. Perfect. You are uh, damaged, so you're back up to six. Excellent. Okay. All right, so is that, uh, that all you're doing? Yep, that's all. The... all you yeah, I guess I should have bought another mercenary, but... Yeah. Time for that. But yeah, that, that brings the, it to your turn. Only the chat can uh, help you with that now. Okay. Um, interesting. Very interesting. Just check the map here. Skeleton's gonna move. Always forget. Uh, the undead, I don't know as well as the other monsters. I guess I just didn't use them as much. Skeleton moves six, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Orc moves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down that way, and then the polar war bear is going to enter. One, two, three, four, to attack the knight once again. I'm just going to put this big pile right there. All right, polar war bear attacks. First attack against the knight. Three skulls. Roll four more. That's not very nice. Two more skulls. So that's five skulls. <laughs> All right. So five skulls, and you've got your defense. Oh, I feel better having six body points. Okay, uh, this time you got one white shield. What is with these rolls tonight? <laughs> you took four damage. Okay. You're down to two again. Down to two. And he's in range to where I can throw him one of my, well, the only plus four healing potion I have, right? Uh, it'd have to be an uncommon feat. Okay. And, and Let's I'm roll say, for that. If you fail, you're you, gonna you fumble. Could it. You might be able to move next to me. Yeah, let's wait to do that. That's plus four. I don't want to lose that. It was expensive. <laughs> yeah, it was very expensive. And no, uh, for anybody who's watching this after Space Crusade, I'm not being extra tough just because I got beaten <laughs> in Space Crusade. This is just how the things are working out. <laughs> Sometimes Zargon wins, and sometimes he loses. Okay. All right, so I did that, did that, did that. Okay. Barbarian. Let's roll for your movement. It's five. Okay, I'm going to move up next to him and give him my plus four healing potion. Okay. While he's giving me the potion, can I give him the spare longsword and shield that I have? Just in case he wants to poke at that thing diagonally? The rule is, on your turn, you can pass something. Okay, well, on my turn, I'll, can I, I'll pass it to him then, if he's standing next to me. Yep. Now, Barbarian, do you want to be diagonally next to him, or do you want to be diagonally next to the door? Or I should say next to him. Like, do you want to be up here or down here? Um, I would be, I'd want to be in the diagonal doorway to where I can still give him the potion and be able to get through the door. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you're getting, which, uh, tell me again, which, uh, thing that you're giving him? The one, uh, I have one potion plus four healing. I think it was a rejuvenation one or something because I've got that one and then the roll one D six healing. 
Okay, so you're giving him the plus four. Yeah, the straight up plus four yeah. one. Okay. All right. And I believe, um, didn't you say I had something that I can already? Yeah, four attack dice, great oh, sword. Great sword. Yeah, my okay. diagonal. Yes. Yep. Oh, and we just awesome. got another okay. uh, bonus potion for the barbarian. Ooh, thank you. Ah, so a good deed is rewarded. Another one. Okay. <laughs> All right, elixir. Here's Welcome. Argon. He's so enthusiastic right now. Yay, they get Yay, another healing. They, they survive, so I can torment them some more. Okay, Elixir of Life. Uh, now, this is a different kind of Elixir of Life. This bright red potion glows with magical energy. Any hero who drinks it regenerates one body point each turn for the next five turns. It cannot raise a hero's body points above their starting number. Okay. All right, so the Elixir, this version of the Elixir, let's say Elixir plus five turns goes to the barbarian okay i wrote that down thank you thank you yeah nice one thanks fubar okay uh so you passed it now passing a potion is not an action so you're gonna do anything else barbarian uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and attack uh okay the next the red one next to me is an enemy or no that's not that's a player right this is the barbarian this is the knight and the bright red one that's the crossbowman okay so no enemies in the room we just have the enemy outside the door yeah all the enemies all right. are outside okay so i will um let me right. see strength and i'm doing this two. correctly so Oh, yeah, yeah. You can uh, stack your abilities, whatever you want to do. But I was going to say, as a champion, you get to use two black dice, plus your other two for the for the attack. Can you explain the black dice to me? I don't think I ever... Oh, yeah. Asked. So there's this guy in Germany that sells these, and uh, they just adjust the probabilities of the hero quest dice. So instead, normally you'd have three skulls, right? There's actually four. Uh -huh. Because he took away one oh, okay. of the white shields. So... These, they like enhance your attack, nice. and I I like okay. it because like oh it's simulating that you're more proficient with your weapon, kind of thing. Yeah, that's Similar actually to pretty how cool. The, okay. Yeah, the green dice have one extra white shield, and they subtract a skull. So you could use that as an enhancement to defense, or you could say it's like a weaker weapon because it's less likely to hit. So, and then uh, the other one that I use is, are the blue dice. Those are like monster dice because they have an extra black shield by subtracting a white shield. Oh, okay. And uh, the guy in Germany is the one that did these, but I don't think he's the very first or only one. I think other people have kind of like picked up on that as well, saying like, oh, yeah. hey, cool, you can make custom dice. Not sanctioned by Avalon Hill or Hasbro, but they're out there. <laughs> Um, do I know how many health points that ice dude has, the polar bear? Yeah, so he's lost three, so he's down to his last three. He's half half dead, half defeated. All right, then I'm not going to use that stuff. I'll just attack normal um, or attack dice. All right. Okay. All right, you got three skulls. Defends three. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one uh, one black shield, so he deflected one and took uh, two hits. Nice. All right. And your uh, mercenaries? Um, They're just going to stay there because I don't... I can't, I can't see that I have any room. No, I can't move any of them close enough to attack. So, okay. Um, we can move them. What's down? To me, down is towards the door. Ah, uh, so you're looking at upside down. Um. Well, just tell me. Uh, you've got uh, you've got a scout in front of one of the doors, and then you've got a knight in front of the other. 
line his people, his mercenaries up behind my scout. Yeah, I cut my, both of mine are in the middle of the room. Well, sort of middle. Because you've got the gray mercenaries. Right. So if so, they just continue to walk away from the polar bears, is basically what I'm saying to the wall next to it. They can both move one space down. Like that? Down that way, yeah. So I've lined mercenaries. So now there's mercenaries lining the bottom of the room, basically. They're all in a row. Yeah. You have to be safe and they're out of the way. Yep. yep. And since uh, the bad guys don't get to use plasma guns from the future, they can't wipe them all out in one shot. <laughs> Although that is a good idea for future adventures, maybe they'll... I've always thought about doing some type of crossover between Space Crusade and HeroQuest, because they are uh, sort of, maybe, in the same universe. <laughs> I'm traveling? Yeah, through the warp. Yep, all, things, all kinds of things can happen. Okay. Nice. Alright, I'm going to attack with the spear again. Alright, Ice Queen Spear. So you just rolled a four, and uh, you're doing three black dice against the polar war bear. Uh, one skull. Chiching! You get two black shields. Easily deflected it this time. Good try, though. Okay, I'm going to move one space down and one space to the left, so I end up next to the Barbarian. Okay, do you want to be below him or on the opposite side of him? Right there. Right there? Okay. Yes. Yes. That works. And now the cross of men. No, sorry. Where it was before. That's the delay. Yeah, okay, so he... Below, or if you've oriented your screen the other way, then above. Okay. All right. And then have the crossbowman shoot the polar war bear. All right. Takes the shot. Two skulls. No defense. Got him. Down goes the polar war bear. Um, have the scout disarm out of the trap while he's there. Okay. All right. So he disarms the trap. So let's see if he does. Anything but a black shield is success. Oh. Black shield, he failed. So it was a swinging axe trap. And yeah, let's see if, if he takes any damage. One skull. So he's, okay. he's half dead. Def <laughs> definitely not safe. Yeah, and there's now you know there's a swinging axe trap there. Now, he's still got his movement, of course. He's going to go move over, uh, move next to the knight. Okay. Two. I'm putting a question mark, but I mean, you, you know what it is. Okay. And I'm gonna drink that uh, that potion that he gave me to okay. go back up to six. All right. So you drink the plus four, back to six. Yeah, you've uh, you've been the the literal shield, the meat shield, <laughs> for a good portion of this quest. But I guess that's what that's what a knight a knight is called to do. All right. Is that it? Yeah. 
The uh, the orc can move eight, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. I think, I think we're just one space away if he does come back around. Right. Skeleton continues. Skeleton. One, two, three, four, five, six. To go down the path. And let's see what should the orc do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Following the skeleton. All right. Barbarian. Barbarian. All right. Well, let's go. Um. Uh, go ahead and roll. Oh wait, there's no more monsters here. So, full movement, right? Yeah, monsters on the board. You still have to roll for movement. So, let's get your movement going. Oh, outside the wall. Okay. Well, I'm just saying on the board, not necessarily line of sight. Whatever. Uh, go ahead and just roll, and then I'll make my way down to that door. Okay. One, two. I made it far. Okay. All right. And I'm going to keep my mercs back. So that'll end my turn. Oh, no actions? Um, no, because we've already searched for traps, searched for treasure. Um, I guess I could search for a secret door. Okay. No secret doors. All right. Okay. And you said your mercenaries are not going to do anything? Yeah, they're not going anywhere. Knight, Chaser, just roll to five. All right, five. Uh, move me into the. You know what? Don't move. Uh, search for treasure. Okay. Hazard. While you're searching, a hidden arrow shoots from the wall and strikes you. You lose one body point and your turn is over. Okay. Just can't catch a break. Down to five. Down to five. All right. All right. Have um, the scout move. I uh, see three. All the way, I guess, north. All the way out into that hallway, into and then east, as far as you can go. Okay, so if he's gonna exit the room, go into the next room, he would be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He could be right here back in front of the ice door. Is that what you want? The opposite of the ice door, towards the the room that I opened up and let all the monsters out. Oh, back to that little blue room. Yes. Ah, okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Did okay. I get it right? That crossbowman. Uh, can the crosswoman be ne either in the doorway or next to that scout? Yes. He has enough to be right next to him. Okay. Alright, Zargon. Yes, indeed. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I'm done. Barbarian. All right, let's, let's roll, roll move. Let's roll two. What is with this guy? 
Um, <laughs> that armor's heavy, I guess. Or restrictive or something. Yes, so. All right, let's just move. Um, all right. Can't move diagonal, so let's just go over one closer to the door. I'll remind you that you've got three potions of speed, but of course, those don't have to be annoyance alleviators. You could actually save them for when you need them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you've got that uh, questionable square next to you. But... Yep. Um, I'm not going to mess with it. It's not in the way. Yep. At least to me, it doesn't seem like it is. Go around yeah, learn from my scout. <laughs> What'd you say, Jacer? I said, yeah, learn from my scout. Exactly. Okay. Your mercenary is going to do anything? Just sit back and wait. All right. Night. Five. Uh, roll for movement, please. Yep. You got a five. A five. Uh, move into that yellow room. Okay. As close to the uh, crosswoman as you can. All right. And search for treasure. Okay. Appreciate your thoroughness. Potion of warmth. The miniature jug is warm to the touch. Drinking the potion immediately after suffering damage from ice storm or chill spells or from ice vaults or icy rivers restores two lost body points. Drinking it at any other time restores only one lost body point. Now I will remind you that um, since you have the ring of warmth, you're unlikely to suffer that type of damage. But nevertheless, you have a potion of warmth. Yep. Bring it back for the icy embrace of death. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's true. It's, yeah. You can just use it as just a basic healing potion. One gives you one, and you've got two of them, so you could bring yourself back with two if you needed to. All right. All right. And... Have the uh, the scout go into that. A small room there, but I want him to jump to first base. Two, three. Okay, so he's gonna jump that first square to go down or to go to the side. Go to to the side. Okay. He's gonna try to jump the square here. All right. A skull means success. Anything else means you land on it, take the consequences. A skull. Okay, so you jumped over it. Alright, so far so good. Search, search for traps. Okay, there are no traps. Alright. Move the crossbowman in front of that ice door. So just move back one. Yeah. That's why you can cover the corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to reveal something. Sorry, guys. This this should have been here a long time ago. There's a door to the north. See, we had our camera focused up there so long, or down there so long, I didn't show you. Let's just say you couldn't see it till now. There's a door there. Yeah, that should have been re revealed as soon as you as soon as you entered. All right, Jacer, um, what do you think? Uh, that's it. He's okay. gonna stand there and guard. Okay. All right, your turn is over. Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, 
I'm done. Barbarian. Okay, you just got a four. All right, let's go down and open the door. One, two. Let's see what's on the other side. Okay. Immediately, you see that there's a door to the northeast corner. I should adjust this a little bit here. And you also see a table. All right. Um, uh, can I check for traps immediately in the door or uh, move into the door and then check for traps? Yes. Okay, so you step into the room, searching for traps, and there are no traps. Okay. No traps. All right, so that ends his turn. Let's go. Well, I guess we can just go in order. Um, the next one in line. Okay, crossbowman. One. Two, three. You just want each of them in the room. One, two, three, four, five. five yeah, five, yeah. I'm gonna, just gonna pull them all in. Three, four, five. If that's the placement that you want, or so yeah, that's fine. Matters to you. Nope, that's good. Okay, cool. Hold on, guys. Let me just check my messages here. I always uh, worry that. Like somebody sent me something like, hey, I'm doing this, and I forgot. Uh. Yeah, Strange Bus, uh, he's got a family thing, so he will not be here tonight. I kind of figured he wasn't here by now. But anyway, good thing I checked. Just had a feeling. Cause see, I do that streamer mode thing, so it isn't you know constantly making the Discord yeah. noises. But then sometimes I miss stuff. All right. Okay, where were we? Um. So you moved all your mercenaries, and J uh, sir. Uh, roll for movement, please. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, Fubar is pretty generous with the potions tonight. Okay. It's like he causes the damage and then he uh, heals the wounds that he caused by bringing in the monster. Okay, so that's uh, four. And I'm sorry, what were you going to do? Move him towards the scout. Okay. One, two, three, four. And she Alright, have the scout open that other door. Okay. One, two. Opening this side door. See what you see. Okay, immediately you see another door on the opposite side of the room. And a number of monsters. A trio, in fact. So we've got orc, a goblin, and an abomination. Familiar. He's gonna now use the rest of his movement to get behind the, the knight. Okay, and I'm so sorry. I was responding to that message. Say that again. He's going to use the, the rest of his movement to get behind the knight. Ah, to back up. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I kind of lost track of where he was, so... He moved two spaces, and then he's going to go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and be right behind the knight. Okay, I didn't think that he had that much. I just put him in the doorway. Yeah, the scout moves nine spaces. Uh oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I never mind. I'm not that tired, but I guess I am. Okay. There we go. Good? Yes. Okay. And the uh, crosswoman's going to stay there. All right. By the door. The exit door. Or the entrance door, I should say. Okay. Yeah, to win the quest, you got to find the uh, the wooden exit door. Okay, Zargon. And now I've got to move these other monsters. Alright, let me just double check something here. Abominations only move six, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the orc, and then the goblin. One, two, three, four, five. All right, the orc attacks. It's the knight. One skull, knight defends with six, one green. Jing Jing, easily defended. All right, that's all Zargon's gonna do, so Barbarian Turn once again. Right. Movement wise, uh, you get six. Thank you. Can we search for treasure? Yes. Might want to move first, just in case. Well, I already searched for traps. In case there's a bad card. Uh, if what would that do? I guess I don't understand. If you get a trap, then you lose the rest of your turn, so you'll lose your movement. Oh, I see. And if it's a wandering monster, then you'll be pinned there when the when the monster won't attack you, but you really won't be able to do much. Because gotcha. it'll also end your turn. All right. Well, then let's go ahead and move up in front of that door, but I'm not going to open that door yet. Well, with a wandering monster, I could put it in this room. It wouldn't have to be in that room, but that's just... But his advice is still <laughs> pretty much spot on. So, okay. So where are you moving to? Um, next to the door the open door. But I am not... Yeah, the unopened one, but I'm not opening it yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Alright. And now you're searching for treasure? No, no, no. Yeah, now I'll search for treasure. Okay. Gold. Amidst old rags, tattered fur robes, and soiled blankets, you can find a collection of 15 gold coins. All right. Let's be at two twenty-five. Yep. Um, and there's 
N nothing the mercenaries can do. Kind of odd that there's just a table in the room and it's empty. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes there's just a table and it's empty. <laughs> um, I'll move my mercs closer to me and we'll start doing the door next round. I'm going to change his butt again. This kid drinks like I do. Tons of water. Stay hydrated. Yeah. Keep the diaper companies in business. <laughs> I'll bring it back. Sure thing. All right. All right, Jay, sir. All right. I'm going to attack the orc. Okay. So you got eight for me. With the fortune flaunt sword. Okay. All right. So that's three combat dice. Okay, you got one skull. No defense for the orc. Skewered. The orc has been destroyed. Alright, uh, move the knight forward one space. Okay. Uh, move the scout. Um, Into the, um, I guess into the hallway next to the, or, uh, I guess north of the crossbowman and have him search for traps. Okay. Let's see what you're saying. Okay. One, two, three. So he's searching this and that. No traps. That brings it on to your turn. Oh yes, I believe it does. So it is. Alright. Alright, I'm back. The abomination moves forward. One, two. Attacking the knight. Two skulls. I'll roll your defense. Ching, 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 ching. Four white shields. I do believe right. that is a wrestling move. Yes, it is. On a tombstone. Him. All right. So he goes in to hit you. And you, uh, you grab him. And you flip him like upside down and bam crack right into the right into the pavement that's one body point of damage for the monster somehow he gets up from that but he's not happy all right i guess it's i still have monsters to move Let's see. One, two. Okay, so the goblin is behind. The skeleton moves forward. Moves forward. I haven't done this before, but I'm thinking of attempting a, a villainous feat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to roll, and uh, if it's a skull, I'm going to say that skeleton can open that door. Nope. He tried, but his bony fingers couldn't do it. All right, barbarian. All right, go ahead and open three. the door. Okay, you got a three for movement. Okay, so you're opening this door. Oh, 
Okay, so you see many things in this room. Let me adjust the camera here so you can... Cable in the shot. Okay, so first of all, you see a door in the southeast side. You also see treasure chests. Bottom corner here. And you also see a number of monsters. Just double checking something here. I think you can see this. So uh, there is a, an icy river flowing through the middle of the room. There's an icy river there. And the monsters are a yeti down here by the door. And there's also a polar war bear here and two ice gremlins. So there's a whole bunch of blue in this room. All right. Right. Are you happy you opened that door? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Are we happy. Um, so if I see... There is that guy. All right. Um, I'm not stepping in there. I'm going to stay in the door here. Um, so I will. Um, I think I already searched for secret doors in here anyway. Um, let's go ahead and done with the barb. Leave the halberdier next to me because he can do it at an angle. Uh, the archer down, or the archer next to him, can we move him up left? Well, to me, it's up left one. It's basically, all four of them are together. Oh, just in a box like that? Box formation? Yeah, because he's ranged, right? So he <clears throat> he should be able to shoot. Oh, the halberdier would have to move out of the way, if what you're trying okay. to do. Well, the, okay. Right now, the halberdier is covering the door. The crossbowman would not be able to hit any monsters unless he took the barbarian's place or went into the room. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll just leave him where they're at at this point, and then, uh, yeah, that'll be it. Okay. All right, Jay, sir. You just rolled a four. Act the uh, abomination. Let's get you back on camera here. All right. Do you attack? What are you attacking him with? Uh, long sword. Fortune's long sword. All right. All right. One skull. I re roll. Yeah. On that one? Yeah. Once per quest, you can re roll one of your dice. You want to do that? Yeah. One of, all, one of the. Yeah. Re roll one of the shields. Okay. Black shield. Alright. So the magical ability is used up for this quest. Still one skull, though. And no defense. So that's, that's a kill. Move him uh, two spaces into that room there. Okay, so you're entering the blue room. One, two, yep. three. Towards the door. Just, just two. That way he's he's covering the door. Oh, okay. So you're up against the door. Yep. Got it. And then the uh, have the crossbowmen shoot the goblin. Ah, yes. 
Two skulls, so he snipes the goblin. Got him. And the scout's gonna move uh, north. Alright, how many squares? Um, how many s To round the corner? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can make it to the corner. I'll leave him, like, two spaces away. Just in case there's something down there. Two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so he's two away from the corner. Yeah. Alright. And now that, that ends my turn. It's Argon. Okay. That skeleton is going to attempt once more a villainous feat <laughs> to try to open the door. He failed. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright. In this case, let's see. Barbarian has a lot of good stuff. You have that uh that rage? Uh no. He's got a potion of strength. He's got icy strength. Oh, you're thinking of the Berserker Fury, that uh, skill card? Yeah, I think that was a really good one. Yeah, using your defense as attack dice. He's also got footwork and hidden reserves. The other two. Hidden reserves. Well, it's Sargon's turn right now. Yeah. You were just asking the questions, so I'm just uh, yeah. refreshing. He usually does, it does have good stuff, usually. Mm -hmm. yeah. The skills part is pretty good. Skills, skills, of course, cannot be stolen. So there is there's good in that, for you guys' sake. Um, let's see. So the first ice gremlin, let me get you back on camera here. First ice gremlin is going to run forward and steal one of the barbarian's potions. He's going to take the 1d6 healing. And he's going to run away. One, two, three, four, five six into the corner the other one's going to run forward one two and steal the potion of icy strength four five six seven eight okay and now let's see the barbarian could be grand. Depends with five. Alright, Polar War Bear is going to run forward. One, two, three. And attack. Barbarian. At what point does the skeleton break his hand opening that door? Well, he does have two of them. Boobar. <laughs> yeah, it's like what I what I create a, a bad uh, consequence for myself, maybe. Like his his attack skill would go down. Okay, so why did I only roll three? Let's roll the fourth one. Okay, so that's two skulls. And we're gonna roll his second attack. That was three, four, five. Okay, so five total skulls against the Barbarian. And you roll five defense. 
and it beat five skulls. We're gonna count that. There's two, so cha-ching, and then you took three damage. So the barbarian is down to five. I think it's the first time he's gotten hurt. Mm-hmm. And the Yeti is going to move forward. One, two, three, four, right behind. Yeah, the skeleton is going to move backward. Well, let's see. Stel skeleton's going to move up one. And then the orc is going to move forward and try to bash the door. If he gets a skull, he can open the door. If not, he fails. He failed as well. Let me show you how it's done. Bonk. Didn't work. As long as it's defeated by doors. As long as you never open a door, the heroes can never die. <laughs> right. Yeah. They can never win either, but yeah. Okay. Um oh, they're just immortal. <laughs> yep. Alright, uh back to the barbarian. Alright. Um on track five for movement. Okay. Let's go ahead and you use the elixir of life. Okay. Which is one okay. body point each turn for five turns. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna check off the first point, so you're at six. Okay. Anything else? Um what was pushing up decks again? Dexterity, uh five squares of movement or a guaranteed pit jump. Your icy strength and your heal 1d6 are stolen, but you still have three speed potions, which again is just extra movement. Your potion of strength, plus two, attack, and you've got your skills, of course. Yeah, and then the potion of magic resists, but none of them are doing magic, right? Correct. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and I'll drink up that potion of strength. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do... Uh, footwork, roll two extra defend dice until the end of the turn. Okay. Um, let's do... Berserker Fury. Ooh, all right. Pulling out all the stops. Okay. So any number of defend dice for an equal number of attack dice. So you have up to five defend dice you could convert into attack dice as well. Yep. And that's what I'm going to do. Oh, wow. Okay. So... Doesn't he have two extra dice because of the... Strength, yeah. Potion? Yeah. yeah. So he'll have two black, six white, plus two more. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten dice. Is that cool? Yep. I'm going to use 10 dice against that monster. I'm just going to take this opportunity. This is not product placement or sponsorship or anything. But on uh, Etsy, I bought these wooden yeah. dice that are, like, inscribed. Some fan made these. So they weren't cheap, but they're kind of cool. So I'm going to use two of those. Yeah, those are pretty cool. I've been looking at some because I've got a laser burner. So I'm deciding if I want to blank ones and do it myself or just go ahead and buy them. Now, I bet if you drop these, like, on a tile floor, they may, you know, get get dinged up. Yeah. 
But uh, other than them being wood color, um, I think they're slightly bigger than the, the standard dice. But yeah, they're pretty cool looking. Okay, so this is your big attack. Ten dice against this fully, uh, you know, unhurt war bear. Is there anything else you want to do? Um. No, I don't really have anything other than hidden reserve and some potions. Right. Okay. Here it goes. Well, the, I was gonna say the footwork gave him two extra defend dice, right? Yes. And then that other thing let him use all his defend dice. So wouldn't that be seven dice plus the five dice? Well, but he's also using the potion of strength for two. So that would be fourteen dice. Wait a minute. Okay, trade any number of defense dice to roll any equal number of attack dice. So I took to that to mean five. So normally he rolls four, so that's nine. Ten, eleven. Wait, the cold iron plate in the helmet and his two, that's five defend dice. Plus the footwork would be seven defend dice, right? Yeah, but we're talking about attack. Oh, big... You got me there. That, you got me there because the, the fury I was not, turns them into attack dice. I was not thinking of it along those lines. You're right. Good catch. <laughs> yeah, the min maxing. But hey, you know <laughs> I allowed all this stuff, so it's my own fault. Well, I was gonna say, you said it's this big attack. I'm like, wait a second, he's missing dice. <laughs> Two extra defend dice. Okay, so well, twelve, right? You're saying fourteen. Well, because right. of his potion of strength that he took, too. So that's okay. four, four, oh, six, and seven. That's 13 dice. Two. Sorry. Plus five. That's the potion. That's the skill. Plus two more that we convert. Four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's thirteen. How are we getting four? Thirteen, yeah. Okay. So I need to roll three more dice. All right. Well, let's get some more of those wooden dice out. I think you're probably going to do something to him. <laughs> well, I hope so. All right. Okay, didn't disturb any. I okay. hope you get five skulls and three white shields to do the wrestling move to finish him off. Okay, it's <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That flipped over. Okay, so that's eight skulls. One, two, three. That's still. Okay. That's eight. Okay, so there's one automatic hit. Okay, wrestling move. What? What? Uh, what's your wrestling pick, Nixius? Uh, with him, I want to do the uh, the big. Uh, what was it? Big boot leg drop from Hulk Hogan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So you get him on the ground somehow. It probably would come after the attack. Yeah, to finish him off. Okay, so first let's say that there's the eight. He only defends with three. So, so give him guaranteed. three automatic defenses, so that way he has five, and then you can finish him with the wrestling move. <laughs> okay, he only blocked one, so he takes seven damage, which would kill him. Um, so you you hack him down. <sighs> he falls on the ground, and you know before he can close his eyes, you <laughs> leap up in the air and drop the leg down on his throat. Bam! <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Well, I think you destroyed him. We're good. That's what I was working for. Yeah. Um, it's like if one thing, if one everything. thing, if one thing failed, something else would have worked. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's what they're there for—to be used for devastating moves like that. And the other one was an ogre that's back there. Uh, yeti. Uh, the yeti. How much health do they have? Uh, they've got five. Okay. I think this does deserve uh, a little bit of something, so let's see. Let's get the crowd. <laughs> Alright, so that was just the crowd cheering and then the Wilhelm scream. Okay. This but a scratch, yep. <laughs> Pretty awesome, though. 
Okay, so we yeah, cross off. Uh, finally, get rid of some of those potions. So the um, well, the strength potion. Yeah, the two skills. So you just got the one skill left, the hidden reserves. <laughs> oh, he's gonna end up hurting. So, um, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and now that I've done my attack, I'll do my movement. Um, they don't have attack of opportunity, right? Bless you. Attack of opportunity. So, yeah, they don't have that on Hero Quest, right? No, no. Okay. Um. So, what was the movement? I think it was five. Five. Yes. So I could literally move all the way around behind him then. Yes. All right. All right. So let's move the five around him. Um. Mm, I am. Okay, so that's all he can do unless he uses a potion, which. Uh, Magic resist and dex, and then the hidden reserve. But I've already got my elixir going. One per turn. Correct. How much damage do they do? Do I know that? Uh, so the yeti or the yete is something. He attacks like. with three. Yeah, three and three. Three okay. attack, three defense, five body, four mind, eight movement. A partridge in a pear tree. Okay. You got the deadly hug, so... of course. <laughs> All right, the, so that's... Uh, the knight can't be hugged, mm -hmm. but the barbarian can. Okay. So let's go ahead and move uh, the halberd deer. What's his movement? Oh, I thought I wrote it down. Two body points. Six. Type six. Okay, yeah, so... The is damaged, but can move six. So let's move the halberdier all the way around next to me, uh, next to the barbarian. So he's attacking at an angle. I'm gonna lose these guys, but I gotta do something. They fought okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and attack. Three skulls. Fine hit. Good hit. Let's hope he doesn't block them. No defense. Nice. Okay. So he'll have two. Uh, that'll be it for him. And then my swordsman. Uh, five moves. One... Two, three, four. Um, he's okay. So he's there. One, two, three, four. Uh, go ahead and move him down to the like right next to the other one. Um, geez, the next to the yeti on the bottom. Because that way I can get my ranged guy up in the doorway and at least attack him, too. Like so? With the two mercenaries side by side? Yes, that is correct. And then he's going to go ahead and attack. Okay. Attacks with four. Three skulls. Another fine hit. No defense. Nice. Uh, monster goes down. That's good. Now your crosswoman can shoot one of them gremlins yep. across exactly. the river. Exactly. <laughs> Alright. So you're going to do what he suggested? Yeah, I'm going to around to where basically uh, the three mercenaries are all next to each other <clears throat> and then shoot oh, the one that's 
at the door. Okay. Missed. Oof. All right, that ends his turn. The bolt embeds itself in the wall, <laughs> scaring the uh, ice gremlin. <laughs> All right, be right back again a second. Good grief. All right, I think that was the end of his turn. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yep. Chaser J. Just rolled a six. Six. All right. Um, let's move him. So that he's still in that room, but in a door in the other doorway. Okay. And then search for a treasure. All right. Potion of healing. So this All is right. the one d six potion of healing. I should give the Barbarian another uh, body point. I forgot to do that. So that's seven for him. Knight has a 1d6. So you actually have two of those now. All right. Have the uh, the scout move to that corner and look down the hallway. Okay. Hey, strange bus. Just want to stop by and say hi. Hope the barbarian is still kicking. Yes, he is. And you did not get to see his awesome uh, stacking of abilities. He rolled, what was it again? 14, 13 dice. 13 dice and killed a polar war bear instantly. <laughs> and he got a wrestling move, just in case the guy wasn't dead yet. It's pretty, pretty good. Yep. yep. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, hope hope your night isn't too too crazy. Um, but if it is, hey man, you know, hope things go well. Thanks for stopping by for sure. All right. So uh, you said he was gonna peek across the way. Ugh. Yes. Okay. Need a bigger table or longer arms. I actually have a, do have a back scratcher that I've used for uh, like moving stuff around, like a plotting rod, like in those war movies, but I haven't pulled it out yet to use it. It didn't sound right. Family friendly stream. Okay. All right. So goes around the corner, and so you're looking the entire length of the board there. So I got family stuff going on, but good luck, adventurers. Thanks, Strange Bus. Here's something to have for Zargon before I go. Yes! Ha ha! I knew he'd come through for me. Thank you, sir. So I've got a Chaos card. I like it. And I know he's got a lot of gold, so I get to draw one of these, but you don't get to see what it is. Nice. I will keep that for later. And a bonus monster. Well, <laughs> don't mind if I do. Ooh, okay, so that's, is that right? I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Thanks. A... Interesting. I'm going to have to think about how that works. Okay. Thanks, Strange Bus. You the man. Oh, hey, Strange Bus. Yeah, he uh, he's still taking medicine, so he's going through diapers a hell of a lot faster than he normally does. Okay, um, so looking down the, that long corridor, I'm going to have to show you what he sees. So you see a double stone wall blocking that corridor there in the center and past it you see a closed door 
front of this red room here. And that's all you see. Yeah, you have a great night too, Strange Bus. Thanks again. Always glad to have you. Okay. He's gonna back. He's gonna back towards that other door to the gray room. Okay. And the crosswoman is gonna move uh, a couple spaces towards the, the scout. So I moved him right in front of the door to the gray room. Is that what you wanted? Yes. And then the crosswoman move two spaces towards the scout. Consider it done. All right. That ends my turn. Zargon. You guys may not be able to hear this. Um, is anybody uh, listening to the the Twitch, the actual Twitch stream? I wasn't, but I'll turn it up now. All right, because there, there's something I want to show you. Right, you can probably hear the music. All right, suddenly you all feel a chill run down your spine and you hear a blood curdling scream. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, you, you can go back to your normal sound setup. That's all I wanted to show you. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. Monsters. All right. So the orc is going to attempt a, a villain in his feet and try to smash through that door once again with his hammer. He failed. <laughs> he moves out of the way. The skeleton is going to try the same thing. Ah, he succeeded. He battered down the door. Okay. And so the orc still has movement left. He's going to run forward and attack the knight. The orc just ended his turn and the skeleton went. Yeah, I guess I did do that, didn't I? Darn it. Okay. The skeleton still has movement left. I'll say the skeleton did it then. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like, oh, he did. But yeah, that's totally cheated. Okay, you got me. Red-handed. Okay, yeah, so the skeleton is going to attack. With his two. One skull. And you defend with... Six, including one green. Oh, he already came back over here and laid down. So I already told him to stop it. Uh, and you deflected it. Ding. It would have been much cooler if it succeeded the first time. <laughs> but, nevertheless. It's too cinem cinematic to pass up. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. The, oh, man, those ice gremlins are trapped. All right. Fine. The ice gremlins go charging. Ah! They run forward and attack. First one attacks the swordsman. 
Attacks with two. Missed. The other one's forward. Ah, attacks the halberdier. With two. I wanted to see the swordsman roll three shields for, for a wrestling move. That would be yeah. hilarious. Uh, one skull. Okay, and the halberdier defends with... Is it three? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just runs forward. It close lines him. Um, Cha-ching! Deflected both. Only two shields, though. Okay, that's the end of Zargon's turn. And she moves through the and fondly All right, Barbarian. If you're back, you're just rolled a five for movement. Okay. And she went her way homeward. Uh, let's see. Um... I mean, I guess I could go back towards that door and one, two, three, four, go over the ice. You can I cross have... whatever. You got the armband of ice. Yep. Yeah. It will protect you. So let's go over and down because I can't go through enemies. Like that. There you go, and then, and then over one, two, three, four. Oh, I don't have any more movement, but right. Correct. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and attack at an angle. All right. Back to your normal attack. Somebody stubbed their toe. Yeesh. <laughs> All right. Uh, one skull. And they defend with three. Yes. Three body points, though. Ooh, no defense. That's a hit. All right. Mercenaries. Yep. Let's go ahead, and the halberdier will attack the guy in front of him. Okay. Three dice. Three skulls. Wow. <clears throat> Monster defense. Ching. And then two hits. So this one's almost dead. All right. And then the crossbowman, I would say backpedal to make that one extra space and shoot um, shoot the one in the middle. Um, yeah, okay, I'll allow it. Yeah, because I, I could imagine I sh wouldn't necessarily be able to hit the guy up against the wall. Because I have two people blocking the site. Yeah. So I wasn't sure if one in the middle would work since it's... Yeah. Some would say, oh, you need to go through the door to do it. But, I mean, you can do off-axis. So, two, two skulls. Monster defends. Nothing. Dead. Okay, so there's a okay. potion floating in the water there that someone could pick up. Yeah, I'll I have to wait till my turn to pick it up, right? Yeah, anybody on their turn can pick it up. It's not a it's a free action. Oh, then the barbarian will pick it up. Which one is it? The rejuve or icy? Honestly, and all this excitement, I kind of forgot. So I guess it'll be whichever one you want it to be. Um. Let's do the icy. Icy strength. Okay, so you've got that one back.
Okay. Mercenaries? Um, that should be it for me. All of them attack. Oh, you did. that's right. You did it. You did it the other way. I see. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, knight. You just got a five for movement. Uh, he's gonna use the whole, uh, holy water on the skeleton. All right. And then shoot the orc. Well, now the the holy water actually does count as an action. Do you, oh, does it? Instead of attacking. Yep. All right. Then he's just gonna attack the skeleton. Then. Okay. So just standard attack with which weapon? Uh, you use the long sword. All right. The uh, skeleton is relieved that you put the holy water away, but then he sees the blade coming. And <laughs> if there was an expression on his face, you can't tell because it's just a skull. So that's two skulls, and he only defends with two. So this is it. Ching! But then the other one smashes him to bits. All right, he's going to try to jump the square the skeleton was on and stand in front of the other doorway. Okay. So we'll have you roll uh, one combat die. A skull means you succeeded. Anything else, you've got to take the consequences. Or no, wait, I'm doing that wrong. A skull means you failed, right? Roll anything but a skull. Yeah, forgetting. Okay, anything but a skull. Okay. So you succeeded, you jumped over it, you landed on that square there. It's safe so far. I guess that's it for him. Um, the scout's going to open that other door. Okay, let's get your mercenaries. All right, the scout opens the door. Let's see what he sees. Revealing the entire room. Okay, so first thing, there is a door to the north. And there's a sorcerer's table the other end of the room. And there's a whole bunch of monsters as well. So let's see, we've got two orcs to the north there. Uh, and a goblin and an ice gremlin and another orc on the other side of the door and another goblin and there's another ice gremlin I'm just gonna have to grab one here one second Okay, so that's, uh, and other than that, that's all you see. He's going to run towards the knight to tell him that this room is effed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Into the blue room? Yeah. I took you quite literally, but that's what he wanted. Okay, so there's there's and the uh, the crossman is gonna shoot some shoot something in that room. Okay, without moving, he could hit uh, that orc, the ice gremlin, or that goblin. Technically, uh, I... let him shoot the ice gremlin. 
Okay. Missed, but he did get uh, three white shields. That's a wrestling move. <laughs> Gonna have to be creative with this one. Wow, while he's watching the arrow, he runs up uh, and just clotheslines him with the uh, crossbow as he goes running away. Uh, wham! He goes flying through the air. Slams down to the to the ground, gets up dazed. So that's one hit. Cerzania, have we scared you out yet? <laughs> oh, is that because oh, of the uh, the scream earlier? Yeah. Sometimes we do those sound alerts. Hey, Elverg is here. Sorry if I didn't see you earlier. Welcome. Okay, now I have to ask, since Elverg, you've been with us a long time, are you wanting to take uh, a hero or are you lurking as usual? It's up to you. Because we've got uh, two heroes in here. We've got the um, Barbarian and we've got the Knight and then their assorted mercenaries. But, I mean, normally we go till 10. Um, I was thinking we could go to 11. So, you'd have at least an hour and 15 minutes if, if you want to. And that goes for everybody. Everybody here. Anybody who wants to jump in as a hero is welcome to do so. Just let me know in the chat. Or hop into the Discord. Let's see, do we still have the Discord link? There it is in chat, in case anybody wants to take control. All right, everybody else, of course, can uh, contribute to the audience participation, and like usual with channel points. I think we worked out all the bugs with those. Okay, so where were we? Um, you did the wrestling uh, the crossbow move. Man, the crossbow man did a wrestling move, and he's about to run away. Okay. All right, where are you sending him? Uh, towards the scout. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Zargon's turn. Nobody right. can't see where he went. <laughs> oh. There you go. Okay, so I'll just warn you that the ice gremlins can move 10 squares just like goblins. So, just so you know. Alright. Alright, why not? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that orc is gonna attack the crossbowman. Two skulls against the crossbowman. He defends with three. No defense. That's oh a, no. That's a kill. Ugh. He did a lot. He tried. But, uh. Moment of silence. The crossbowman. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Orcs are moving in. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Goblin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ice gremlin. One, two, three, four. Whips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you can see where everybody moved. So we've got. Um, Two goblins, an orc, and an ice gremlin in that room. In the corridor, you've got an ice gremlin. And you've got uh, two orcs in that corridor. But this orc over here is going to step forward and attack the knight. One skull. Knight defends with his usual six, including one green, because he's a champion. Ooh, let's see. One, two, cha ching. Okay, so that was a successful defense. No wrestling moves this time. Okay, now I still have my ice gremlin, my last ice gremlin. I guess that halberdier is damaged. Okay, it's gonna attack the halberdier. Two skulls. Halberdier defends. Cha -cha Ching! Oh, that's a wrestling move. That's three white shields. Nixius. Yes. Wrestling move for the halberdier. Oh, I'll let you come up with that one. Ah, uh, the rule is the hero has to think of it. Okay, let's do. Um, let's do the stone cold stunner from Steve Austin. Okay. All right. So the halberdier oddly drops her halberd, kicks the little uh, ice gremlin in the gut. <laughs> Reaches up, grabs his head in a weird way, and then like drops down, and, like, and then he hits he hits the the water, but then he bounces up in the air, and his body like does this like flopping fish motion for some reason, and uh, that's it. And then he sinks sinks down into the icy waters, never to be seen again. Yeah. It's funny because I, for some reason, I thought that you killed my halberdier. <laughs> nope. I mean, he's right, damaged. So then I'll. Um, I'll go ahead and pick up the potion of rejuve now. All right. All right. Just played a quick uh, shattering glass, uh, Steve Austin sound effect there. I can't play those wrestler themes like in full because they yeah. have copyright strike audio jungle. All right. Okay, so you've got the potion back. Yep. All right. Um, yep. And is that the third round? Because I've still got that elixir of life going for five rounds. Yep. And so, so that's uh, you should be up to eight now. Right now to... Yep. So. Okay. I'll erase that elixir. Well, I mean. <laughs> I guess if you happen to take damage the next two rounds, you'd get stuff back. But it's up to five. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's it's pretty much going to be gone. Okay. Um, anything else? Uh, well, let, let's go. Or wait, what am I saying? I got to roll for your movement. My bad. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I was forgetting that the, that wrestling move was uh, on, on Zargon's turn. Okay, so you rolled a one. 
That's alright. I'm not going anywhere anyway. I'm right next to that chest. So, can I check for traps? That would also show the traps of the correct the chest, right? Yep. Alright. Uh, you search for traps. No traps. Although that icy river does look pretty, uh, pretty nasty. Good thing you've got the armband of ice to protect you. Yeah. Oh, that's his action then, right? Because I can't open the chest. Right. You'd have to search for treasure to open it. That's how I treat it. Yeah, the way some people play, they say, oh, well, you search for treasure, that just tells you what's in the chest, but you don't actually open it and take it out. <laughs> but it's like, it's a free action, so why would that even matter? So I just say, when you search, you find whatever's in it. All right. Well, let's end his turn and let's try. Um, oh, there's enemies in that other room in there. Um, what do you have? One. In the how many the enemies? You have? Yeah. I see one ice guy in there, and I think there's one outside. There. Now you can see it better. As the screen catches up, yeah, there's uh, there's a nice gremlin in the in the rack room, along with two goblins and an orc, and there's another ice gremlin in the corridor outside. And yes, we're getting an ad for all those who are not subscribed. So I'll just take this moment. This again, this is not sponsored or anything. I did pay for these, but these wooden dice. Just looking at them. I I had half a mind to just paint them. I think when I got them, that was my first thought. But then I thought, ah, you know, it does look kind of cool, and you can see at a glance, it's different. It is kind of a rough finish, though. It it isn't like super super smooth, but I'm sure it would cost too much to do more than that. So, still pretty cool though. I don't know. I always thought I liked plastic dice better than wooden dice, but I mean, something of that quality is just kind of sweet. Yeah. I mean, when you're a little kid and you got little hands, it the uh, original dice were fine, but over time they got beat up, and yellowed, and everything. That black mm -hmm. paint came off really, really quickly, and I think some of that's because you know your sweaty hands are dropping it on the floor too many times. Whatever. Dog choose it. Kid choose it. <laughs> All right. Just getting off topic here. Okay. So, are you doing anything else on your turn, Barbarian? No. No, that's it for his turn. And the mercenaries as well. Um. Uh, well, they're going to have to... Well, I have to decide how many... There's two monsters over there. All those green ones are... Um, Jacers, right? Is it Jacer or Fubor? I'm sorry, let me look. Yeah, Jace. Uh, now, let's... Uh, let's roll for the... Um, crossbow. I'm trying to look here. Yeah, I realize that I'm not able to show the entire board all at once. Now, if you look down here, you can kind of see it a little bit better. But, yeah, so the uh, the room with the Barbarian and your three mercenaries has been cleared. Um, Jacer is facing off against an orc on the outside of that room, just above. And uh, the rack room is filled with monsters. All right, so we'll go ahead and two corridors um, have monsters in them. Let's start sending the archer that way. Okay. So he's going to head through the the uh, table back to the door. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. All right. So he's at the foot of the table there. The AI in this uh, this game is pretty good. <laughs> you like the way I uh, optimize the movement? Yeah. yeah. From playing Space Crusade, you're just like zipping around. 
<laughs> there you actually can move diagonally, so you have to like, yeah, just try to get as much as you can to get the next angle to shoot the guy. <laughs> when I say the foot of the table, I do mean the foot of the table because it's got an actual little foot on the end. Alright. Anything else? Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and continue moving the, the, the other marks. two marks over. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One injured mercenary. I like to think she's using her uh, halberd as like a cane walker. Yeah. All right, that it? That'll be it. Yep, that'll be it. All right, Jacer, the mighty knight. Attack the orc. All right, you rolled a seven for movement, and you're attacking the orc. Which weapon are you using? The longsword. All right. One skull. Enemy defends. No defense. Got him. The orc has fallen. If I'm going to move uh, seven towards the barbarian, towards the barbarian. Okay, so you're going all the way that or way. Or spaces ahead and then three spaces down oh you're going around i get it but into the uncharted territory okay one two three four and then what'd you say down yeah five six seven Okay, I'm going to say in that corner there, you can see that there is a stone wall right there blocking the way to the east. Okay. And that's all you can see. And then move the scout nine spaces as close as he can to the night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then search for traps while he's there. Okay. And I'm going to ask which uh, corridor is he searching for traps? The double or yes. the horizontal? Oh, okay. Uh, no the double one. No traps. Okay. All right, uh, moment of silence, and then it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. It's Argon. Okay, so let's go back to our monsters. The ice gremlin is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 into the room. All the way down there. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The goblin goes up to attack the crossbowman. 
with two. One skull. Crossbowman defends with three. Ching! Deflected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this goblin is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to that small room there. And let's see here. This orc is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You didn't see that, but down there, whoops. Back up to the monsters, let's see. Okay, this orc is gonna move eight to that second room there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then that ice gremlin on the outside is gonna go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down there. Okay, so we've got ice gremlins down there. Goblins, orcs. Orcs and goblins. Alright, that's Sargon's turn. Barbarian. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open up that chest. Okay, you're old six for movement. Okay, so you're searching for treasure. Right? Yeah. You have to be next to the chest, don't you? Nah, just in the same room with it. Oh. Jewels. You find a small wooden box. It is plain and old. But within it is lined with velvet and contains 50 gold coins worth of jewels. So 50 extra gold for the barbarian. Nice. 255. All right. All right. And then we'll take those six movements back. Okay. Uh, uh, back to the other doorway. Okay, through the previously open door? Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four. And now where? Uh, was that an enemy right there? Uh, the next candy corner to the uh, halberdier? It's my... Oh, there's, a, there's a goblin right here. This monster that's behind the barbarian is in another room. There's a wall between them. But yeah, there's two monsters down here. Oh, okay, I see that one. So the blue that's the, one. That's the crossbowman. That's a goblin. That's a ice gremlin. Okay, that was an enemy standing at a corner. Um, well. Uh, if that's another player in the middle of the room, I should be able to go through them. Right, one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. All right. Where are you sending the barbarian? Um, towards the. Door. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that where you want him? Let's wait for the camera to catch up. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. Uh, yeah, perfect. And then I'm going to attack the, uh, the enemy in front of me. Okay, the ice gremlin. Yes. Hey, Hank, did you search for treasure? What's that? The barbarian searched for treasure. Oh, I did in the other room where the chest is. 
Yeah. Oh, you're saying he used up his action. You're right. His oh, action yes. has okay. his move. Good, good point. Good point. Yep. Okay, so he's stand still. Well, uh, with that in mind, since I didn't say anything, do you do you really want to move all the way up to the enemy's face there? Uh, not if I'm not going to attack. I wouldn't. I'd stay back, like one or two spaces. Well, you still have that footwork for your next defense because you haven't had to de- had to defend yet. Hmm. Okay. And then there's still the plus one health. Well, so what am I? Here's the problem. Until the end of the turn, so that's actually expired. Sorry. Oh, oh, well, that's an end of turn one. All Slash, right. not sorry. <laughs> plus, I was gonna say, I mean, since you cashed him in for attack, I would have just ended it right there anyway. But thanks, thanks for reminding. I mean, there's a lot to keep track of in these games, so I yeah, appreciate. there is. Okay. All right, so it's potion. Of, the potion of defense is for the next defense, but that that skill only goes to the end of a turn. Yep. All right. True. Yeah, potion of defense is like rock skin. You could use it, and then like at the end of the quest, someone attacked you, and it's like, oh, it finally kicked in. So what's my health at then at this turn? Six. Um, the barbarian's health is at eight. Oh, okay. And uh, that'll be it. the the uh-huh. elixir will expire next turn. That would be the last time that it would do okay. anything. But I mean, it can't take you over the maximum, so it just like expends itself basically. Okay, so you're happy being in the in the corner there. Yeah, that's fine. All right. What will your mercenaries do? I need to move back on the. Uh... Archer, the crossbowman. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot at the uh, ice dude down there. All right. Shooting the ice gremlin. All right. Two skulls. Could kill him. Yeah. Ooh, one block, ching, and then one damage. He's got one left. Nice shooting. All right. Yep. Anybody else? Um. At the foot of the table, that was the other enemy, right? That's a goblin. Okay. So, why does send the, that... send the swordsman to attack to finish off the ice gremlin? Oh, he is down there. For some reason, I kept thinking he was in the middle of the room. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Sorry, I get disoriented on there at times. That's okay. Yeah, what I wish I could do is do like um, I feel like I, this is a this is a document camera right here. I wish I had four of these because then I could like do the autofocus, easily zoom in, and all that stuff. I mean, this one's nice too. This one over here, but these other two cameras are like hard cameras, so they can't really give you as much coverage as I'd like. But that's why you sub, right? <laughs> So I can get a couple pennies. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right. So yeah, you've got a swordsman. I mean, that's Jacer's advice. What do you think? Yep. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Go down there and try to finish him off. One, two, three, four. All right. Yeah, because he'd have to be in front of him. So he attacks with four. Uh, one skull, but you also got three white shields. Well, the mercenaries are hitting all the wrestling moves. Yeah. Well, let's see if he would have defended. Nope. <laughs> it's 
So he's dead either way, but uh, what what wrestling move would you use? Yeah, they're picking up skills from the heroes. Do the tombstone, the pile driver. All right. Bam. He's dead. Rest. <laughs> Got him. Still have your halber halberdier to move. Yeah, I. That's what I'm trying to see. If I want to move them, I can't move where that table is. And. Um. But you can move them next to the swordsman to attack that goblin. Yeah, like, like face first. Let's do that. I have faith he'll Two, three, figure four, something five. out. Five. Okay, you're attacking? Yes. Alright, 45 minute warning here. Thanks for sticking with us this long. What is going on tonight? Okay, that's another wrestling move. <laughs> it's like tag team action tonight. Another one. Uh... You're quickly like googling a list of uh, <laughs> top finishing moves of. Yeah, all wrestling. I'm gonna have to. I don't know all of them. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a finishing move. It could be anything, really. Just slap him in the face. <laughs> oh, he rakes the eyes. What a dastardly move. <laughs> I can't believe it. The ref didn't even see it. <laughs> yep, yep. I just think it's a, it's a fun little opportunity to kind of take out a little bit of frustration with a little bit of imagination. <laughs> and a little yeah. bit of nostalgia mixed in. Yeah, there's, there's some people that play, they're just like, I don't watch wrestling, I don't even know. It's like, take suggestions <laughs> from the audience, you know. Uh... You got something? Oh, I'm done. Oh, that's it for me. Oh. I can't do anything else. What's what's the wrestling move though? Oh, the wrestling move itself. Oh, I was just gonna poke him in the eyes or something, oh. slap him across the face. It's the eye gouge. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The eye gouge. So you you gouge him in the eyes, and improbably he like staggers around, and he like somehow puts himself through the table, shattering it into a million pieces and totally knocking him out. Ooh, does any, like, hidden treasure fall out of the wood? <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, a cheer does go up out of the crowd. Alright. Did you uh, hear that by any chance, or you weren't listening to the Twitch? No, I'm sorry. My daughter just walked in with saying something. Say it again. Oh, uh, I heard that he broke the table and stuff. <laughs> I'm playing a sound file. Oh no, I, I don't. I don't have it on because the echo. All right. Well, it was awesome. Okay. <laughs> oh, I caught the end of it. The chanting. Nice. All right, <laughs> that's enough of that. It's just like the most improbable thing of all time. But hey, at least he went out with a bang, not a whimper. Okay, so that was the end of your turn. Getting a little silly here. Late night. <laughs> all right. Um, hope you're all having as much fun as I've been having. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, Jay, sir. Finally. Sorry to take so long, man. You are next. No, it's fine. The monsters have to do what they got to do. That's right. <laughs> and he's got to take his turn. 
All right. So you get what a five. What I get for movement? Five. five. All right. Just uh, two spaces. Open a door. <clears throat> All right. So you open the door back to the icy room. Uh, take three steps into that room, and I guess search for treasure. Okay. All right. So the chest. Um. Oh, okay. So you find uh, two potions of healing. Each restores up to four lost body points. I think I did that wrong. Cause didn't I make uh, I made the barbarian pick a card? Yeah, you gave him fifty. Yes. Uh, Sorry about that. Full of I did that backwards. I don't know why I didn't didn't read it off. Well, anyway, you've got uh, two potions of healing, two plus fours. Nice. Good job. You can always share them, I suppose. Yeah, it's it's supposed to be the first hero searches. All right. Well, anyway. All right. <clears throat> I guess this is why I don't uh, go really late. <laughs> I'm going to have the crossbowman shoot the orc. It's like have the crossbowman shoot Zargon for his mistakes. Okay. <laughs> shoot the orc. All right. Um, only problem is... Uh, how is he going to do that? What do you mean? Well, or is it a different, or is it a goblin? I might not be seeing the right monsters then. Okay, so you don't have a crossbowman anymore. He's dead. Oh, oh it's a scout. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, you've got a scout. Uh, He'd have to run forward. Yeah. Does he see the crossbowman's crossbow? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we don't do that with the mercenaries. I mean, that would be yeah, an interesting game. Some people do, but yeah, they don't. They just take all their equipment with them somehow. All right. Uh, have him, I guess, run down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Down and around the corner. And then search for traps. Okay. So in that lower corridor. Oh no! Wait, he'll see the ice gremlin. Yeah. All right. Uh, Actually, uh, let me let me just take a quick glance here. You know, as he w when he goes around the corner and sees the ice gremlin, he's just gonna turn back and go in the room with the barbarian and guard the door. Okay, how far how far did he actually go down? Uh, he would just go to one space and then see the ice gremlin. Okay, so he would have come down. Just you couldn't see him because the camera wasn't aimed correctly. Okay, so yeah, we'll once say... he would have passed the door, he would have came down one, one space, saw him, and saw would... him, and then go go in, duck back into that doorway. Okay. Actually, yeah, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay. All right. And then he'll just relay all that information to the barbarian. <laughs> or to what? the knight. What? <laughs> <laughs> I said. Crosswoman's dead. What'd you say? <laughs> when did he die? When did this happen? Yeah. Okay. All right. Is that it for you? Yeah, that's it for him. Zargon. Okay, let's see. It works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, so the ice gremlin went around, is attacking the scout. One, two, 
Golem Skull. It would be interesting to say, oh, he stole his toolkit, but I guess you're assuming it's an innate ability similar to the dwarf's skill, so. Alright, so one skull. He defends with three. No defense. That's a kill. Down goes the scout. After all that. Sorry, scout. <laughs> He did like, a lot of running around. You start to get attached to these guys after a while. It's like, oh man, yeah. they 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 just survived so long, and yet all it took was one little thing. That's all. That's all she wrote. Okay. Um. Let's see. The um. Let's remove the goblin body there. He's safely been dispatched. He flashes and disappears like it's a video game. Because it kind of is, in a way. All right. Let's see the other orc. All right. This orc down here is going to move and attack the halberd air. One skull. Halberd air defends. Ching! Deflected. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we got a bunch of monsters in the corridor now. All right. Barbarian. Let's. Uh, you should roll the one. <laughs> I'll move um, up a square or back again to the uh, other door okay. where the treasure chest room is. Okay. See. Yeah, because that's my. Right there, there, and there. Actually, this table's destroyed, so we'll just remove it. So don't be confused next time. And um, on the top camera, I can't see what's outside that door. And on the bottom left camera, I can't see what's yeah. in front of that door. Ah. There's an orc right here. And on this other side, there is an ice gremlin. Okay, so it's the orc, then the looks like my halberdier, my swordsman behind him, and then my archer caddy corner, right? Yes. All right. Well, the halberdier is going to go ahead and um, move up one and attack at an angle. All right. Miss. Yikes. All right. Now what? Let's go ahead and move my uh, archer after he shoots. Actually, let's. He does he see him, or do I need to move him? Um. I'm going to say you're going to need to move. Yeah, it kind of seems like I would need to move down. All right, uh, move my swordsman up, and I'll attack him with the swordsman. Okay, attacking the orc through the doorway. Mm-hmm. All right, one skull. No defense. Orc was destroyed.
Okay. All right, and then um, I guess we'll start heading to the other room again. I hear things over there, so let's go back up and over. Crossbowman? Yeah, yeah. All right, is that where you want the crossbowman? Right in front of the icy river? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Guy scrambling from there? Huh? Hmm. I'd say yes. That's a pretty sh sharp angle, though. Because isn't that more of a sharp angle than what my crossbowman was to the uh, goblin? I mean, I'm not going to argue that I, you know, can shoot him, but... I'm going to say you can hit him. Okay. Well, let's do it. Shoot at him. Zargon says it's legal, and then it is. <laughs> That's right. You can try to talk him out of it, but his word is <laughs> law. Okay, two skulls. Defense. No defense. It's two hits. Down to one. All right. Say 30 minute warning. <clears throat> okay. That's it. Now the night. Uh, try to shoot the uh, ice gremlin. Okay. You just rolled an eight. Um, okay. So you're shooting him with your crossbow. Sure. Kind of almost forgot you had one. <laughs> All right, that's three yeah, skulls. Yeah, I haven't used it much. Yep. All right, that's three skulls. No defense. Oh, one defense. Ching, but then that's the killing blow. Got him. Crumbles into ice cubes. All right, uh, move him. Two, three. Uh, to block the door right behind the crossbowman. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. And yeah, the ring of warmth protected you from the ice, icy river. Right there. Okay. Mercenaries, or oh, too soon, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, they're a toast. Moment of silence for two mercenaries. Yeah. Long will their songs be sung in the archives of the archives the dead mercenaries of your quest. Yeah, I think prior to this quest, you've gone through, I want to say, 15 or 16 or 17. Something like that. Yeah. These are hard quests. But they tell you to hire them. So. They knew that they knew the risks. Alright. Okay. Zargon it is. Alright, I'm gonna start moving these guys into the fray. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's an orc attacking the knight. Oops. Monster dice. You don't have to have separate monster dice, but I think it's a little easier to keep track of things. Missed. Okay, that orc is attacking the crossbowman. Three. One skull. Ching! Deflected. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The goblin's attacking the archer there. Okay, one skull against the crossbowman, I should say. Everybody's trying to get a piece of him. Ooh, no defense. That's a hit. So the crossbowman has taken a wound there. Alright, that's all I can do at the moment. So, barbarian. Just rolled a two for um, movement. Let's go up towards the door. The one, you know, where all the battles go in the chest one, room. Two. Okay. You're not quite close enough to do anything other than nope. you could pass stuff to the knight if you really wanted to. Yeah, what's the health of the knight? Uh, the... Good, I just got those two healing potions. Yeah, you're at five. Oh, he has He's healing. at five. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the elixir has really and truly been used up now. Um, uh, we'll end the turn on him. Uh, let see. Yep, the mercenary... Actually, that's the bowman. What's the movement? Um, let's go back. You can have him attack first. He has a broadsword as well. Oh, that's right. I forget he does. Um, alright. So then we'll attack... Um... Goblin or orc? None of them have lost health yet, right? Well, they only yeah. have one body oh, point yeah. each. Okay. I'll uh, hit the guy on the water. Okay, so you're hitting the goblin. Mm-hmm. One skull. He only gets one die to defend because he's a goblin. Nothing. Got him. <laughs> He sinks down into the icy depths. Yeah, now retreat him. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Now I'm going to move my swordsman up. Oh no, move the uh, crosswoman out of there. Oh yeah, now he's got the move. Uh, yeah, let's move out. Okay, so where are you sending him? Uh, let's send him... Actually, we could send him over by the chest, so he's at range. Yeah, let's move him down towards the chest. He, he might not survive the river, but yeah, you could try it. Um, I keep forgetting he has to roll and stuff. Just move him back out of the doorway. Let's play it a little safe. Okay. So move him uh, into the other room. Yeah, One, yeah. Two, it's three, the other room over four, the bar. Five, six. I guess I wasn't sure where you wanted him. Yeah, it's fine. Anywhere. Okay. All right. Anything else? All oh, right. you said swordsman. Yeah, that swordsman. I got to move up. Okay, swordsman. Because there's right. no more enemies down there, right? I'm Correct. trying to. Yeah, all the all the monsters are in the uh, icy river room. Monsters over here, your guys over here. All right, let's move him up towards the doorway. Okay. All right, let's. You went around the floor way, wouldn't I? I think I would get more if I went back a square and then up four. Oh yeah, you could be here. Oh wait a minute, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you could be right here. Yeah, that way I'm closer to the. 
Well, I guess it is still two spaces. Two, three, four, five. You yeah, could be, that's good. You want to be here or here? And it's closer to the door as possible. Yeah. Got to think uh, diagonally. Diagonally. Dangly, some people used to say. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. And then the halberdier. Halberdier. Where's the halberdier going? The one, two, three, four, five, six. We we'll put him right in the doorway. So we'll put him in the door. Okay. And that's it. Very good. Jacer. Alright, I'm gonna attack the orc. Alright, you just got snake eyes. Okay. Take attacking the orc with which weapon? The log sword. Okay, which which orc are you attacking? Uh it doesn't matter. Alright, we'll have you attack the the one to the right of you. Alright. One skull. No defense. Alright, and I move two, so let me move right to the other side of the halberdier. Okay. Alright, let your orc have a turn. <laughs> Very well. Okay, so the orc is going to run forward and attack the halberdier. Three. One skull. Defense. Cha -cha -ching. That's a wrestling move. Nixius. Yo, slam him through the door. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. All right, so you reach in, steadying yourself with your uh, uh, halberdier, and then grab him by the throat. Ah, blam! Knocking him to the ground. Ugh. Somewhere off in the distance, you hear a thunder, thunder crackle. <laughs> all right, took him out. So that's that's all the monsters. So I guess it's back to uh, the barbarian. Hey, you get to move six. <laughs> oh yeah, good point. Good point. Thanks for reminding me. Okay, six movement automatically. Where will you go? What will you do? Trying to see what. I guess we can go out back out that door. The one where the chest is, because nothing was searched on the other side of that map, right? Uh, this. No, there, there's the yeah, two, no one was... There's two closed doors up north. Yeah, this this corridor has not been searched for a lot of stuff, but you got to remember it connects with. Oops, it connects back with the uh, the first corridor that you started in. See. So yeah, so the, up yeah, north. Yeah, the mercenaries have to cross that river. Up north, there are some unexplored doors. It's true. All right. And there is a well, stone then, wall there. We'll head back. Yeah, because of that water. Let's head back through our, you know, to the starting area, basically. Okay. I was gonna say this isn't one oh, of those it's... like, and then they exited the quest. They're like, you know what? It's not even worth it. It's like, what? 
Because then, I mean, you could do that in the original game. It was like, you just leap by the stairs. You're like, ah, this is enough. <laughs> it's like, you could just save your game. Okay, so everybody's heading uh, back to the starting kind of area. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and you're gonna move uh, as the barbarian. Same yeah. direction as well. Yep. All my guys are gonna make four. our way back. Okay. All right, that's as far as you could go. All right, Jay, sir, you got twelve. Uh, move me as close to that uh, the room with the table in it, the sorcery table in it. Ah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I navigated you around the uh, trap tile. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and no mercenaries. The so. one that has the scout blood on it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Okay, so nothing for me to do. Back to Barbarian. You've got six. Okay. I continue moving towards the beginning. Two, three, four, five, six. And all your dudes, too. Yep. Do that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. That's where everybody is now. Jacer, you got 12. So keep going to that uh, One, two, sorcery table room. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, you're in the sorcery room now. Sorcery table room. Can I, can I jump the first space? Oh, you mean into the doorway? Yeah, just <laughs> in case. I almost gave it away there. Okay, so, but you're jumping over, but where are you landing? Which of those three? Uh, have them jump straight this time. Okay. All right. It's a skull. So you landed on the first square, but nothing bad happened. Okay. And I want to search for traps. All right. No traps. Okay. Good to go. Excellent. Nothing for Zargon to do. Back to the Barbarian. You got six. Okay. Um, keep making our way to the doorway. Okay. Same thing with everybody, I assume. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you've reached the doorway. The icy doorway, the start of the quest. Now what will you do? Continue um, down the corridor to that next door. Okay, so following Jacer. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not going to just walk into that room. All right. Jay, sir, you get 12. I'm going to search for treasure. All right. Very good. All right. I'm going to say that you uh, you can search the... the. You can either get just get a card or I'll let you get a potion card. Which would you like? Search the table for potions. OK. 
Okay. I, I don't know how it's going to do that, but I knew I was going to do something along those lines. So let you get something. Okay, potion of magic resistance. It's almost as if, <laughs> you know, you'll have an opportunity to use those, hopefully. Yeah, at some point. Okay. Um... Move two one, two, three, four, five spaces to that closed door. Okay. That'll end my turn. All right. Nothing for Zargon to do. Back to the Barbarian. He got six. Using the unthreatened movement. Okay. I'm going to continue following him. One, two, three, four, five, six at the door to the room. Yep, and then I'll follow me. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Do you want the halberd air to go into the room? Uh, no. Okay, just go above you? Yep. And then, where would you like the crossbowman to go? Crossbowman's right here. This one. Uh, we'll put him... I just put him next to the barb on the other side, I guess. Oops. Not so there. we're all in the hallway just waiting to go in. Yep. Okay. Jay, sir. I'm going to open the door. All right. Opening the door. We're getting close to the last round of turns here. Just letting you know, we may have to pick this up uh, in December. So it's been a pleasure. All right. In the room, you see a cupboard to the left there. And you see a chaos warrior. Okay. Uh, shoot the Chaos Warrior. Alright, shoot him with the crossbow. One skull, and he defends with four. Ching! He deflected it. Okay, what's my movement? Ah, uh, yeah, 12. Well... I'm going to still give you 12, even though there is a monster now. <laughs> you know right, what? I should, gonna... I, should, I should have you roll. I'm sorry. Let me just... Uh, let's do the roll. All right. You got five. Because technically you opened the room first. You didn't do any movement. So you've got five for movement. All right. Can you... Uh... Move me towards the Barbarian. I want to be next to the Barbarian. Okay, are you blocking the doorway? Yeah, because uh, he, the Barbarian will be able to move through me and get in there and somehow attack. Hopefully. Okay, for your sake. Well, if I don't block the doorway, then the Barbarian can be stuck outside. True. And then his swordsman can't come in and... There, no help. <laughs> yeah, now you're thinking. Okay. Okay. Uh, Zargon's turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because no more series. Okay. Uh, Chaos Warrior moves seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right there to attack the knight. With four. Missed, or no, one skull. <laughs> I was like, missed? No, one skull. <clears throat> All right, you do your no wrestling move. Special defense. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, ching ching. That was two shields. Yeah, the the uh, likelihood of a wrestling move does increase quite a bit. 
Okay, um, I guess that's that's all for Zargon. So Barbarian, we're rolling for you. Six. Um, oh, he's at an angle for me, so I'll uh, let me sure. see what I have. You thinking about that potion of icy strength? It's exactly what I'm looking at right now. I'm going to go ahead and take it. Okay, so that'll do twice as many body points of damage as are rolled on the combat dice. Okay. All right, so I take it you're attacking him then? Yeah, because the only thing I have left is my hidden reserve, but that's just a heal. Exactly, yeah. And those skills don't, uh, I mean, they go away at the end of the mission. Of course, right. you're nowhere close to finishing. Mm-hmm. As you might know, these are pretty long. Okay. We, we'll need a long rest. <laughs> yeah. Get a nice break. Uh, three skulls, yeah. and you double it, so that's six skulls. Wow. Six skulls he's got to beat. Uh, he blocked one, so you blew him away. Nice. <laughs> Molly the Murderous claims another victim. Can we uh, roll to see if he has anything in his pockets worth taking? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so... Uh, huh. That's very interesting. Um, we don't have to. That's like really going in depth. <laughs> let's see. It would be an uncommon feat. So first of all, let's see what it, what it could be. So if it's a skull, it's a success. Failed. Uh, nothing but lint. Beats getting, like, sticking my hand in his pocket and getting poked by something. Yeah. Next thing I know, I die. <laughs> yeah. You turn into a Chaos Warrior somehow. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You're like, I found something, and then you hear, like, a snap of a mousetrap. Ah! <laughs> I'd be wondering what the hell's he doing with a live mousetrap in his pocket. <laughs> he knew. Somehow. He knew. <laughs> Greedy. Okay. That's where the screaming came from. Yeah. Alright. Nothing for right, Zargon, um, so... Yeah, because I don't... There was nothing in that room? Oh, yeah, that's right. You opened it and then ran back, right? Yeah, I opened the door... Yeah, shot right. at him and ran. Yeah, that okay, room has so not been searched. Alright, well then, I'll take the six movement and go towards that room. Two, three, four, five, six, right to the door. And then, um, can I take, uh, I got two magic resistance and one potion of dex. Five squares movement or guaranteed pitch up. I'll save that. Okay. And then move my other guys in with you know, follow suit behind me. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or five. How's that? Yep, looks good to me. J sir, twelve squares. Um, it's gonna be the last. Uh, we're gonna go back in that cupboard room and search for traps. Three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that was quick, so um, I'm gonna give you one more round of turns. How about that? Because we do have one minute left. Okay, and I was kind of slow at the start, so. Search for traps. There are no traps. It's my turn. Barbarian. Got six. This is the last round. And... Sorry, my wife was calling and I was handing the phone to my little guy since it was a video call. Um, okay. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't just part of that yeah i see the okay time. he searched he searched for traps all right so i'll go ahead and i don't know what my movement roll was if you moved yet 
Uh, we're not rolling because there's no monsters, so six. So let's go in um, straight, like straight through the door all the way to the wall on the other side. And then I'll search for treasure. Okay. All right. Inside the bookcase, you find an alchemist item. Okay. And it is a fire lance. So that's a single use. It's just like uh, fire wrath. Is that like a potion? It's a it's an artifact, basically. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just keep it up with my potions. It's a one time use, right? Yep. Single use. So one fire lance. It's it's like the spell scroll, basically. Think of it that way. Okay. So fire lance. I'll add that to your growing collection. All right. Um, yeah, uh, that I guess that'll be it. I'm not going to move in there because there's nothing else in there. Maybe a secret door, but none of them can search for it. So it's true. All right, Jay, sir. I'll just you're up. Got twelve. Search for secret doors. Well. There's a secret door. Right there to the east. Yeah, like some farted. Wouldn't you know? <laughs> What's that? Said it like somebody was farting. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sorry, oh, it's the barbarian. Like somebody open up a secret door to let some ventilation in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He is an uncommon feat to search a treasure. I'm going to say that's pushing it. If someone in the chat wants to buy it for him, someone who is not playing right now, I'll allow right, it. But I'll, otherwise... just, I'll just sit there and wait for the next turn. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait a couple, few weeks for that. But I want to thank yeah, you guys for playing. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a long session, but it was great. So, Anixius and jacer and uh do you guys have anything to plug i know jacer you've got the war builder youtube channel nope not me i'm here for the fun all right well, we're here for you so uh thanks everybody we might be doing a rant cast i'll have to check up with strange bus see how he's doing we try to do the uh rant cast every other thursday but with the holidays coming up it may be a little difficult to get that done but um, I suppose there's early December always for that. But yeah, so we won't be having our Friday or Saturday streams probably for the next three weeks after that, though. The sky's the limit. Of course, Christmas time comes around and we probably will be busy again. But um, back in the old days, I had a laptop so I could be on vacation and still theoretically set up and stream, you know, if nothing's going on. But right now I don't. So sorry about that. But it's been fun. I think uh, the channel's grown a lot. The community's grown a lot. I really appreciate, you know, everything you guys do, supporting us and being a part of it. And I, that includes all the people listening, watching the replay. So thanks, everybody, for your support. And keep it going for HeroQuest and, you know, tabletop gaming and uh, fun. All right. You guys have a great night. Thanks again. Good game. You and too. We'll, Thank you. Good yeah. night, guys. We'll save it and we'll pick it up uh, when we pick it up. Yep. Bye, right. everyone. Take care. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, this is perfect. <laughs> Strange Bus is playing Uncharted right now. Uncharted 2. So let's raid him. Thanks, Jason, for reminding me. So I'm going to end the stream now. Um, catch us on YouTube in 24 hours and uh, we will raid the strange bus next. Alright, have a good night.